I don't know how to do that dog shit debuts. Pick shape ain't no roll your room. I can't, my voice stops you can't play. I don't even have a 46 JP. I, I'm not even memeing. I don't have a 46. Nice. No magnet stairs means that I'm not. I don't want to hurt myself.
Tags again. Promoting cocaine. What? Okay. <laughs> Wonder if I should get rid of my tags. Nah, they're, they're, they're too good. Oh, I stopped a minute. Oh. How about that? Yo, what Nip just said, how about that? Oh, hey, man, what am I doing? Three. <laughs> Last little hit, like a bar is you. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, guys, I'm gonna end my run right here. Watch this. We don't. 
Guys, I have a 13, 15 speed, by the way. Like a 13, 15 speed run. Uh huh. I don't think I can ever do that again. Because this is a pretty good run. This is fucking 13, 15. We gotta do our gotcha. That's pretty sweet, man. Fuck, I'm gonna be proud to get my shot to fail. <laughs> Coffin of Andy and Lele. Oh. 
on his tan. JJ! How, how many deep are you in? We're God, we're gotcha gaming right now, Stosh. Yo, this is actually embarrassing. What the fuck? Oh. Wait, what are you talking about? We didn't spend money for these bulls. Well, I can't speak for me. I can't speak for memes, actually. I don't know if I can speak for you, though. I... Mm, I don't know if I believe that shit. I don't believe you. Oh, man, it's so true.
Hi, PR Payne. How are you? Thank you, Bell. I appreciate that. I've been uh, drawing all of my life. <laughs> over here in the corner. All right. So, Raiders, I should warn you, I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> oh, my God. Cuban, you're going to boot my nose? I see a lot of Steffi emotes in chat, which really makes me happy. Steffi is the bomb. Uh, Steffi's a cool friend. Um, hopefully we'll do well tonight. Hopefully we'll do well tonight. I'm probably going to do a maximum of maybe mm, four or five speedruns, depending on the they'll go okay um, tonight. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Blade. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you feel, I hope that things turn around for you. Alright, the situation with your ear is getting another reproach. <laughs> Save the door stuck at least. <laughs> One of these days, I'm sorry, I'm really, I really want to get better and get so much better. I feel like the 
on average, I probably get like, what, 43 or something like that? I know I'm probably a, a long way away from having to worry about, like, you know, how do I get close to, like, the perfect Ceres, you know? <laughs> but hopefully I'll get there. I still have that dream of, of sub-45, so... Yeah, I hope I just don't sleep well on the road. Yeah, well, I hope I just sleep on the side of the road. Exact just execute the mouse. Thank you. 
the super. Oh God, this is a total dies of cringe run. Use a different command. Yeah, yeah that's what I. So, Shermie, can you copy and paste um, Firebat's message? I have your channel open on a hundred and ninety pounds. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God, you're nice. right now but you know it's going <laughs> hell yeah fire bat you know we appreciate that becky twist strat around here mm -hmm. big shout out to my age becky mm -hmm. she was very inspiring to me when i was starting out and uh, you know gave me a lot of tips and uh advice early on and I tried to just, I don't know, this one is so trash, I feel like.
Thank you, Walker. Okay, so so far we have a slow and a mid. Mm. Better than nothing. Yeah, we're, st we're still really behind though.
behind right now. That's okay. That's right, Bastion. Thank you so much again for your rating. Congratulations. Um, congratulations on your three years to anniversary.
know me over um <laughs> I have never had a McRib in my life. I have never had a McRib in my life. Let's see. about the game, um, or the run, the straps that I use, or um, how to...
Thank you. 
Yo, girls and guys, welcome back to another Mike and a Mike. Mike and a Mike and a Mike and a Mike and a Mike. It's never stopped. Do I? I don't even know why I do this shit anymore. But I've just been thinking about that today, and I'm and I'm realizing it's like you got to do your life for yourself, you know. It's got to be you. No, I'm just kidding. But like, life don't you know? It don't do it for you. You know, it doesn't it doesn't live your life for you. You know. You can just melt away your time with that attitude. I think it happens to everyone. Um, but it's just like, there's not that much going on, dude. Like, I love Maximilian, dude. I love Ninja. I love Twitch streamers. I love content creators. I love people on YouTube, tech reviewers, Linus. Yada, yada, Jacob R. Everyone who's in, like, you know, gaming, tech, internet, 
nerdiness, goodness, you know what I mean? Everything that I like. I'm into it all. It's just... I'm, I'm seeing that how people... We have to, like, scrounge for... We're, we're scroungers, you know what I mean? We're, like, we're scrounging for the next scrounge of the next bit of existence, you know what I mean? Fat girl from the city scrounging for her next cigarette and deck and... Ooh, Jimbo over there is scrounging for his next paycheck, you know what I mean? I'm scrounging for my next hit of video game nostalgia. You know what I mean? Scrounging, scrounging for my next scrap of food, you know? Like a fucking rat. <laughs> and it's like, that's it. when you look at humans, like we act like we're so smart or we act like the fact that we can talk and do things matters so much but we if you really look at us and our actions over the course of our lifetime it's like we're kind of just like little scroungers trying to barely scrap on a little bit of something you know what i mean like no one's actually that confident no one's actually what they act like we humans embody you know what i mean what they like it's like people sell this facade that you're all fucking gods or something you know what i mean and i feel like if you don't embrace the fact that a human is a rat you know what I mean? That we're just like an animal, basically, on planet Earth. If you don't embrace that shit and live by that shit and honor that code and treat others that in a, with a, in a respectful manner, manner, yet with realistic ideas, you know what I mean? I just feel like you can get these grandiose ideas that can just ruin your whole life, you know what I mean? Ruin the way you think about life, ruin the way you feel about your own life that you're living. I just feel like there's a lot of shit that can go wrong there, you know? But that that's that's just some stuff that's been on my mind today. I know that's some darker adult ass shit, but probably poorly explained by me too, but but somewhat decently explained. <laughs> it's usually how it goes. But you get that, you know, you usually get the idea if you listen to me. I'm not you know not unpracticed that commentary. I've only been doing it for ten plus years. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why when I'm hitting and I'm funny and I'm on, it's like that's what I've been working for, you know. Have some good times with a game, a voice, a guy, a microphone, or, and a computer. You know what I mean? Try to share those fun times with others. That's that's. I think that's the goal that keeps me going at the end of the day. Those those great moments when I was a young kid growing up and YouTube was just coming out and uh, you just find these friends that you don't even know who they are. There's some random person who played video games back in 2008 and 2010 and stuff. Way, way back in the ancient years of 2010. Um, yeah, and, and at the time you didn't know it, but that type of selfless giving and that type of fun lifestyle, you know, can really rub off on people, I think. Now you got people like me who used to listen to those guys over 10 years ago, you know, going on 15 years ago, older than that even. The guy who used to look up to all the people on YouTube, you know what I mean, spends his life doing that, you know what I mean? And there, some of those guys are just a couple years older than me, and they're, like, retired, you know? They got they got 2 million subscribers on YouTube. They haven't made a video in three years, you know what I mean? And that's, like, facts. Like, that's, I can think of multiple people, and there's a lot of people who find success, and then they spend a lot of time in their later 20s or 30s or early 40s, like, not working and, and living life. And you don't hear a lot from them, you know what I mean? It makes you wonder, and it makes you a little sad, and it makes you think about the past when you did used to enjoy them. And I think that's a big reason why I do these videos. And, you know, I was always sad when I had to get over these controversial things in my videos, but when I can always come back to, like, a nice conversation place like this and just have a good conversation, that's what YouTube really, you know... That's where the value is for me. And I think for a lot of other people out there. That, that way of connecting with people in a, in, a, in a positive, loving sort of way, just through the internet, is, is a little bit of magic out there. You know what I mean? Oh my God, he's amazed by the internet. No, I'm not. You know, that's not what I'm saying. But it is sort of what I'm saying again. 
you wouldn't really need the internet and to, to have that though you know what I mean if we didn't have the internet people would be connecting some other type of way so we still have computers you know we still have USB drives we can share each other's porn and each other's uh, RCA flash drive music tracks pirated off a of LimeWire and stuff from <laughs> back in the day. They're like, well, you guys seen flash drives? Imagine a flash drive that's a fucking music box, bitch. <laughs> like, that, but they thought, like, those fucking cheapo, like, Chinese ones, when they started selling them for, like, 20 to 40 bucks at, at Walmart, back in, like, 2000, what, what year was that? Like, 2004 or something? I don't know. 2006? Somewhere in that range. They thought they were so fucking fucking advanced at that shit, dude. A couple years later, we got a device that just like... People... It was so, it's so revolutionary to the human idiot mind that people... People like born slightly like a few years later don't even know what the fuck a, like a flash drive MP3 player is. You know what I mean? Like, they coming up now, and, and their cell phones they grew up with are, are what people use, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck whatever you guys had a few years ago. This is our year, bitch. <laughs> like, they're sliding in, and you and they're pushing you out. They're, they're kicking your ass out, you know? That's, that's how I always feel about the younger generation. I bet, like, any person over the age of, like, 18 starts to feel like that. It just took me a little bit longer to realize that I was getting my ass pushed out by a bunch of fucking leapfrogs coming in. A couple of young guns. <laughs> Get my ass dan L danced on on Fortnite by a couple of 17 year olds. A couple of boys will never come over to my turf on Halo and give me a fair amount. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to talk shit about them damn L dancers and tell them an old man. And I'm going to be that old man who complains about fucking video game f uh, online trash talking and fighting from like 30 years ago. <laughs> no, that's my doomed in existence. Oh, why do these pita chips have to be made of liquid poison? Enriched wheat flour, enriched riboflavin shoved up your butthole. Super sugar sunflower oil mixed with... But they're fucking delicious, dude. <laughs> I almost sound like a, like a, for a second, like a fat guy who hosts a show on, like, the Food Network or something. Like a fat version of Elton, Elton Brown, is that his name? Oh, they even smell good for some reason. Pita chips, man. I don't think I'm going to buy these great value ones too often. But when you're willing to sacrifice your health a little bit for some deliciousness... This is why I started the commentary was to talk about all the food that I've been eating. I had a delicious breakfast pizza with biscuit crust. It was fucking good. A little bit on the salty side, so it's one of those where you only eat like a piece and maybe a bite after that. Save the rest for breakfast the next morning. Um, it's amazing what kind of what kind of food you can get with just a little bit of money in this, in this in the U.S. of A. Though. So, do you guys know about dark chocolate, cho dark chocolate, dark chocolate hummus? Are you guys into this shit? Because I never thought I would like chickpeas as like a dessert chip, but apparently it's fucking delicious. I, I think I made this a long time ago when I was first getting into hummus. And hummus nostalgia and hummus culture. Oh my god, it doesn't even have that many calories and it's fucking delicious. It doesn't really have much nutrition in it no, either. It's basically just all sugar, a very small bit of fat. Very small bit of protein, a little bit of carb. But I mean, that's not bad. For, that's not bad for like you're comparing dark chocolate hummus to Nutella. You know what I mean? You could definitely eat them together if you want to get freaky with it. But yeah, but I was coming up with ideas on like how to make healthier desserts, and that's that's a good one. So you take like a pita chip, hopefully something that's a little bit more expensive than a great value pita chip, but. But these are delicious. They got a great flavor. They're, there's not many chips. It's mostly crumbles of chips, but they're fucking good. So if you're desperate, you get a great value pita chip. If you got money, you go for something a little nicer. And then you get some dark chocolate hummus. Maybe a little whipped cream or a little bit of light yogurt to eat with it. They'll cut up a little strawberry bits or a couple blueberries. And you throw a little bit of fresh diced 
fresh diced fruit on a on a pita chip with with some dark chocolate hummus, a little Nutella drizzle, or some or a little bit of whipped cream, a little bit of yogurt, something else to dip it into. <laughs> like you can make a pimp ass dessert that isn't breaking the bank. You know what I mean? It doesn't cost that much. It's got a health factor to it compared to most desserts. You could probably get away with it a couple times a week, and you know what I mean, and you'd be just fine. But anyways, I've just been trying to come up with like ways to stretch out your money, ways to stretch out your waistline, no, um, ways to uh, do more with food that you, you know you, that is just sitting there on the shelf that you never even looked at, all that type of shit. Ways to find healthier options for cheap. Non-enriched foods, like getting into those more, you know. Trying to use more, like, fruits and vegetables in different ways and on a more regular basis as well. That's always some good good stuff to try out with your life. And Yeah, things have been good, but that's a little bit about my food days. I thought I was going to commentate about food because I've been, I've been whining about it for weeks now, so... Now that I, all my dreams have come true and I can eat whatever I want. I didn't get my jalapeno potato chips in case you guys care, though. They, they didn't have them available, sadly. Oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? This shit tastes like a fucking Milano cookie. It, it legit has Milano cookie vibes. But it, but it's so easy and so and you can pop so many of them in your mouth for such a low low price. Mmm. What the fuck? Why is that so good? And these great value pita chips, bro. Now I know why people pay a top dollar for pita chips. Just gotta find the right things to dip them in. Whatever you happen to like. I gotta imagine these go good with like nacho cheese dip or some other f sort of fancy cheese dip. They go good with like sweet things like Nutella and Nutella and dark chocolate hummus apparently. You can put some fruit toppings on, on these. That'd be good. Or fruit and dark chocolate hummus. That'd be good. You can eat them plain. They're, they're nice and savory. These are fucking good, bro. I'm going to start reviewing food on my channel. That sounds fun. Mmm. What the fuck? Holy fat mouth. Batman. Now I know why I've loved hummus all these years. It was so that I could eventually try dark chocolate hummus. And I've turned over to the dark side. Like that cheesy joke transition I just made. Bro, there's not enough of this. I would have bought like four of these if I knew it was this good. Mm. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> why? You can put this shit on anything. Okay, now I see what they're talking about with all these broken pita chips, though, but... I'm not gonna get something this... The Great Value is the best brand of all time. Why, bro? Okay, one more, one more. And then I'll play some games. I wonder if this would be good with that tahini stuff in it, though. That, like, emulsified sesame seeds. I think that's what that is. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, my fucking God. Holy shit. Are you serious? This is one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten, dude.
And it's just fucking Walmart dark chocolate hummus. This is del this is good. This literally gets a, like a 10 out of 10 for me for the price and the deliciousness. And the slight health factor. Oh my god. I can't stop, dude. I could eat the whole tub in one sitting, easily. Like, it wouldn't even be hard. Especially with a cup of milk, dude. What the fuck? This shit is primo stuff. I gotta have one more bite here, one more good bite. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm, I'm tweaking off this shit, it's good. Yeah, these chips are, aren't really chips, but they're, they're, they got the flavor, so. And they're cheap, and they're so fucking cheap, dude. If you look at how much pita chips cost, you and you're, like, not somebody who has been to the grocery store in the last few years, dude, you don't got that much money, that shit will blow you away. Those pita chips cost a fucking arm and a leg, dude. Oh, fucking yeah, baby. Okay, but one more bite, I meant three separate huge bites more. <laughs> I'm never stopping. Fucking great value. Giant bags of fucking delicious. And such a bad name for like a company that doesn't inspire the greatest hope in somebody who wants to eat some food. Mm. Wow. And there's our last bite. Our last, last one. Bunch of hummus. Let's go. Mmm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Holy fucking shit, dude. That shit literally... It's the spot of a Milano cookie, bro. Like, after eating a bunch of those, I don't even want a Milano. That hit the spot. I love Milano cookies. Who doesn't? That's like the best cookie in the world. If I was a rich person, I would have a, a pantry full of like 15 different flavors of Milano fucking cookies, but... All from Myers or something. Okay, I need a little sip of water after that. That shit was smacking, bro. I, I I remember I remember making some dark chocolate hummus. I don't remember it being that good. Maybe I didn't have anything good to dip it in, and I like put it, I think I put it on strawberries, and and that just doesn't work that good. It definitely go, can go with fruit, but you don't just want to like a huge. It is kind of weird to have like a glob of fucking hummus with a big strawberry, but you kind of got to prepare it, you know put it together in a mix of some kind and then it would go together way better. But I don't I, I don't remember my hummus being that good, but maybe I was just spoiled back then. I don't know. But that shit was fucking good. It only cost like 2 bucks to like I could I would see myself paying like almost 5 bucks cuz because of how good it is. If I had to, not that not that I would. But if I was really desperate, I would. <laughs> and I'm really fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, shit's good though. I could talk about that all night. That was some. I didn't think that was gonna be my favorite thing of the day. I'll tell you that. But yeah, I have been doing no cholesterol. Wow. Party size. Yeah, that thing is huge. Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit about my food journey. Got a bunch of fruit. Got to cut up a bunch of pineapple. Man down the house. Freeze a bunch of meat. I, lo I like running the kitchen. It's kind of fun. Like I never, when I was growing up, I never, I didn't want anything to do with any of the work. You know. Now I kind of like being the person who like 
make sure the food all goes from the car into the into the right spots, into the shelves, into the freezer, into the into the fridge. Try to cook most of the meals for people that ha- you know that happen in the household and everything. And kind of fun. Never never thought I'd grow up and actually like that shit, you know. Um. Ain't much work to do when you get some of that, some of them pr- that pre-made food. You don't got to do anything. Throw it in the fridge. People don't even have to cook nothing. Just go in, eat a bunch of free food. Eat a tub of hummus. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's me, bro. Eh, I ain't cooking today. I think I'm gonna have some hummus and chips and sex and some sex on the beach. <laughs> I was playing Mario Wonder, and then I was thinking afterwards, and I was like, you know, I really love this game, but it kind of makes me despise Nintendo, because we're, like, at the end of the Switch's life, and they finally gave us a 2D platformer on the Switch. Like, it's fucking pathetic, dude. Nintendo was fucking born on fucking the 2D platformer, and they fucking withheld it from us, basically, from... The DS days until now. Yeah, you could argue New Super Mario. No. You could argue a little bit, make a decent argument for Super Mario Maker, but even that game has massive flaws and is underdeveloped, clearly. Unfortunately, I had to do a little bit of cheating. I didn't want to tell this to you guys, but... So I do know where to go next, unfortunately. It was another one of those me things where I looked in all the right places, but somehow I just missed one little exit. Do, 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 do. This music is so catchy. I usually... I only really usually like the big emotional themes, the big emotional songs, but... Now, now in my old age, I'm starting to like, uh... That's cringe. I shouldn't have said that. Uh... I'm starting to like, uh, just like any music, playful music, short, short little battle themes, spooky music and like the woods and like the dungeon, some of the dungeons in these RPGs. This game has really surprisingly good music. I would almost argue I like it more than, than a lot of the Final Fantasy games. People be like, no, don't dip shit, Squaresoft, and shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up with that shit. Yeah, I know Squaresoft made this. I was amazed since I was a little kid, and it was the first time I ever heard of a game that Squaresoft made that wasn't Final Fantasy, and I was like, holy shit. They did, they did things that were other than Final Fantasy, and my little kid brain doesn't compute. One thing that would be fun is if you could, like, go back in time and, like, hand your little kid self, like, a big stack of games that... Shit that you wish you would have found when you were a kid, you know? I would have given myself, like, Chrono Trigger, a PlayStation 2, and Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Because I didn't get to play those until I was an old fogey, basically. Uh, what else? Not too much. I did have a lot of my... Definitely would have gave myself uh, Xbox and Halo and Halo 2, but... And internet <laughs> in 2000, in the year 2002, baby. That'd be sick. This music, too. This game's just a banger, bro. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it. I thought I was gonna be, like, too dumbed down, but... Just like Super Mario RPG, this game surprised me. Oh, the music here? The music everywhere in this game. <laughs> Fucking love this shit, dude. No way. Are they just gonna not make another Chrono Trigger 2, bro? I'm kind of 
glad I'm playing this before Sea of Stars now. I feel like I'm going to actually appreciate Sea of Stars a little bit more. Because I played this one. I still not got money? Oh, I, I got some now. Bro, I want more of those fucking hummus chips, dude. What the fuck? I didn't know, like, I assume people put them on, like, some of those pretzel things that are super expensive. But they're pretty tasty. Put them on, like, some fruit. Like some banana, some chocolate hummus, and, like, a pretzel thin. That would be good. Some cinnamon on top or something. Cinnamon sugar on top. Flambe it, blend it in a blender, make it into a cake, make that cake into some pancakes, make that pancake into dough that you turn into cereal, that you turn into... This is the shit that people do online. I don't even believe that. I want to see if, like, some of those goofy videos are... Like, if they actually did some of that shit, you know? Or did they just made it look like they did? Because <laughs> I, I want to I eat some cereal that was made from, like, three baked cake into, into cookie into pancake, you know what I mean? I want to see what that fucking delicious cereal tastes like. Or if it's all just a lie and it just tastes like fucking mush, you know. So the enemies are still gone from here. I didn't... I don't know why. Okay, am I stupid? Why is this area so fucking hard? For me. <laughs> if I just stopped it at hard. It wouldn't have been perverted and then I turned it into pervert shit. Damn it! Bro, like, where, why, this is making me stressed out, I want to eat some dark chocolate hummus. I gotta stop though, otherwise I won't have any for the, tomorrow and I'll be sad. Where, bro? What did I miss? No, that was a door. I literally went like this. Okay, I didn't do that. <laughs> I literally went like this. And I walked into this part. I didn't know this game was that finicky with doorways. And that put me on an hour-long goose chase of nothing and dying and nothing. Because they... <clears throat> I wonder if in an updated version of this game, if that door is easier to see. Or if it's still supposed to be a little bit of a puzzle-ish aspect. Alrighty. This guy's weak. And then you gotta try. You got magic. Oh, we're not at full health though. That's not good. Should've paid attention, I was getting cocky, bro. I still have a feeling this guy's going down like nothing. Oh yeah, this guy's a pushover. No, he's in the bumper. That was a big flop. That's not even gonna be a full... Oh, that was such a waste. That was disgusting. Might as well just restart everything after that. This guy's a pushover. What do you got? No! Okay, you attacked the right person. We're, we're alive for now. No! I used that on the- No! Ooh! This guy's not a pushover. He's not a pushover. I'm fucking dead. Even if I use these revives, I'm still dead. I didn't know he was this hard, bro. I gotta waste, like, mid-tonics and... Oh, he's counter-attacking me, and I don't know how, too. Damn it. Oh, I didn't want to... Oh, I should just restart. I'm shit on. Yep. I'm shit on. He's shit on us. I don't know how to attack them. They probably told me at some point, too.
Oh, uh, that's not good. Is this... Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna die, I think, because... I didn't know he was massive counter-attacking. Well, that works out, I guess. Now I want some more chocolate hummus, though, because I'm sad. Just finish me, you douche. So I don't know the secret of your bullshit. I came in there with low health like an idiot. Um, no, I'm very upset. I'm gonna be hitting that dark hummus really fucking hard, bro. That'd be a sick gamer tag for me, dark hummus. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fun. I played one guy on Halo, his name was Hummus Party. And I got one of the sickest overkill exterminations of all time. Two for one no scope at the end for an overkill extermination. It was so sick. On Hummus Party. So I guess I'm just gonna wait. Maybe we can try this. It's probably gonna counterattack though. I probably won't do anything, of course. When am I supposed to attack you? I fucking hate this guy, dude. Oh, now he's gonna retaliate hard, because I... Oh, fuck. That was the worst time to attack him. When do I get to attack? Oh my god. How long do I get here? Robot would have been real nice right about now, that's for sure. Is he mad? I just want to go all in on him. Oh, here he goes. I feel like if I go all in on him now, he's fucked. Or maybe I'm fucked for doing that. Fuck him. We just clutched up. Watch this shit. I'm going all in, baby. Fuck you. Fuck your counterattacks. I'm sick of you, bitch. Big healing. Big chilling. Oh, shit. That's a new one. No, I just gave, I fed into his scary plan. He said, ha ha ha, I wanted you to do that. Did 
I do one of those. And then we queue up a fire right when he's done with this charging position, I think. Maybe. I guess this fight wasn't that bad, but... I was just making it way too hard on myself. I didn't understand that so many fights were going to have this counter-attack mechanic. Or, yeah. Come on, this guy's on the ropes. like we're at that part where we gotta wait right oh he was almost dead yeah I should have went more all in I knew it I just went a little bit more all in that guy would have got fried I was trying to play safe just to make sure I didn't have to do it all over again Oh, so all these monsters are like Magus' dick suckers. Okay. I love the I love this game. The like monsters, the like time fucking corruption crazy bullshit that they don't make them like this, bro. They don't make them like they used to. It's like a bunch of fucking monsters like gonna eat the princess and shit. Like what the fuck? They, like, get you interested in some of the, your later companions. So, like, the frog, you're like, oh, he's in our party right off the rip? He's awesome. He has slurp. He has slurp cut. He's fucking, he's got a sword. He's a fucking frog. And then they, like, take him away, and you're like, oh, I gotta do some work before I earn that guy, you know? Get destroyed, you creepy backroom fuck. There you go. We got inns. I don't think there's much at the market in this time period. <coughs> bless, bless me, excuse me. Is, do you say bless me? Is that or is that like offensive? <laughs> I never understood why, like, what the purpose of blessing people was. I wonder if there's, like, supposed to be a reason. There's probably, like, stuff with these fair people, but... Never been a big guy for fairs. Too much social interaction. And walking. Yeah, I can't help myself. I need more of that hummus dough, that hum hum. Oh, aren't you cool, man? And what level is he? Oh, he's keeping up, so I don't even need to have him. He's probably better than Luce, cause he's just because he has heals. Probably way better than her. And he does more damage. She probably has something that's good about her, but I don't I don't have it yet. I think we'll stick with the girls for a little bit longer. 
having fun with this li this crew. Oh yeah, free HP, nice. I was about to waste the shelter too. Got to remember that there's some free HP spots. Is this where we're going next? Oh, I didn't pay good enough attention. Fuck, I don't know. There's new enemies. They're pushovers. Um, I'm not sure what to do now. They said, go back to before he was... Something about 400 years. This is the year 600. There was a year 1000. Oh, fuck. This is a new portal that popped up. And the bridge is here. This is definitely where we gotta go. No, now the memory's coming back to me, so I'm kind of cheating a little bit. Guess we just gotta look around. But what were we supposed to do? We're trying to kill this Magus guy. This market doesn't have shit. Have we been in this time period? I'm a little confused. Yeah, this is the one where... <clears throat> yeah. You came here from the fairgrounds in the beginning. Is there guys? I think I'm gonna run from all this shit. Okay. Maybe go help the queen, maybe, again? Probably not, but... Oh, maybe? Go this way, maybe? I don't know. Other side. Yeah, like I want to play more, but the dark chocolate hummus is calling my name. I don't even want to call it hummus, it's like dark chocolate yummus. <laughs> Oh my god. You better be not knowing about dark chocolate hummus, yummus. Haggis. Who's this? know who this is off the top of my head. Is this the frog? I thought the, I thought the, I don't know. Am I just supposed to talk to these guys and go back to the bridge or some shit? I thought that was going to be more helpful.
Apparently he didn't arrive, Chancellor Douche. What do you mean he just went to see the king? I, I was in there with the king. Am I missing something, bro? No, I gotta cheat again because I'm fucking missing something stupid again, dude. This always happens to me. You sleeping here? No, this is like my worst nightmare when I just want to eat some chocolate hummus and progress the game and I don't get to. I gotta go back through this fucking forest and pray to gods that I, I didn't miss the hero up there that they said is up there, but he's not up there, dude. Oh my god. I just want to eat my chocolate hummus, dude. At least they don't got enemies there. That better not have been what I had to do. Why are you moving? Fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'm, I'm really upset now, apparently. I hate you guys. I actually fucking missed something in the castle, didn't I? Oh my god, I missed something in the castle, bro. I'm about to call it quits there, like a one-pump chump, dude. Eat some more chocolate hummus without you guys. I got Munchausen syndrome right now. Boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do
just to wind up at an obvious conclusion when I never knew I was being tested. It sounds a lot like my relationship. It sounds a lot like my childhood growing up. Do, do, do. Do, 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 and do, do, and now I'm that cool dude that you wish you didn't screw over a bunch and you fucked me up my big old butthole and you like to poke in lots of holos. Do, 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 and I dupe and dupe and do, do. Oh, see, now you guys are fucking dead. You should've just let me in there. Fucking idiots. Oh yeah, that's one piece of jerky. Have fun. He has saved us all with this one piece of jerky. So his brother's the chef, or am I missing something? I think we're like halfway through this game already or some shit. <laughs> of course. Ooh, strong, strong. And what if I didn't talk to that guy? He would have stopped me and I would have talked to him anyway. Give me your armor. I don't care about your heavy losses. We're all sustaining heavy losses. It's fucking life, dude. Ooh, big defense. Chrono Strongo. I fought the dinosaurs. I'm back to destroy. Oh, you done. I don't like you. Or, the, or how you look, weirdo. Ooh, see ya. Oh, he's strong, strong. He's not a normal one. He's a special boy. And this man is invincible or something. Okay, he takes physical. You guys are dead, dead. See ya. I wonder how easy it would have been to miss the magic room. Or if you can even miss it. Chrono always stuck in your party? That's what I wondered. Ozzy needs help. Is this gonna form like a monster? Oh shit, that was sick! Do 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 do! Zombor! <laughs> it's the soul of Zombor inhabiting the skulls of our defeated friends. That was a waste, I don't know why I did that.
This guy probably just... Oh, he takes ice. What about fire? Big damage? Not that big. Let's just attack the shit out of his legs, I think. Is he fired? Or does he absorb all magic? No, he absorbs ice, okay. For now, I think. Uh-oh. Holy shit. Marley's on heel. He's about to hit as big in a second, and I didn't use any tonics either. That's good, at least, hopefully. I don't know if I could ice this guy. I'm not even going to try. Gravitron Smackdown. Holy fuck. We'll get countered. What did you get? That guy takes fire. So I can probably ice, ice this fuck now. Ice him out. Is Chrono dead? Risky, yeah, now he might die at the worst time. Is this ice not gonna work either? Ice works. I think that that is solidified it. We're done. He's easy. Oh, it wasn't that easy. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Is there more fights? Is that why he did that? He didn't give us shit for experience, did he? Oh, we got a new shop, though. Let's go. Thought there was going to be more story there. A couple of those. I'm cheap as fuck. <laughs> well, I was hoping there was a, like a blacksmith. I never buy anything anyway. <laughs> what am I talking about? Well, this looks like a whole story adventure. I might save this for the next episode. This is going to be a lot. I'm going to take a little break. I have a couple more dark, dark chocolates, hum hummus, deliciousnesses, and... Thanks a bunch for tuning in, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun on this. I'll probably be back in a couple minutes playing some more.
And uh, I guess I'll catch you guys then. Peace out. Yo, girls and guys. Welcome back to another mic in the mic. Hope you guys are doing well. I was running out of energy. I don't know why, quite why lately. Just like towards the end of the day, when I should be feeling that last burst of energy, I was just kind of feeling tired some some days, and, and I think I found one of the biggest answers to that. And it's pretty obvious, so it's kind of an annoying commentary, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway because I need to. I need to follow this, these rules of life. You know, I need to spread them. I'm, I don't want to miss an obvious rule of life for a second, you know. So easy to miss. Let the important shit float on by. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And, uh... Well, there's something else I was going to talk about. I forgot now. I think the root of addiction and attachment, though, a lot of it comes from disconnection with the breath. So, like, even if you did yoga for a few years and meditated for a few few years, that means nothing if you stop doing it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's good that you did it, but also if you stop doing it, like, you can't expect yourself to be somebody... who's gonna freely master their breath, who's gonna freely take care of themselves when they're not putting an effort, you know what I mean? Which means, and if you can't be the person who's putting an effort and you've mentally tricked yourself into thinking that no effort is still, some, is still you trying, which is what a lot of people do, Especially with when it comes to their body or when it comes to their relationships. Then you're, you're completely beat. You know what I mean? And if you don't realize you're beat, you're even more beat. You know what I mean? Because first you got to realize that that's a battle you got to be winning. You know what I mean? It's not a battle you can afford to lose. Or afford to lose and pretend that it's not, it's you're not. You know what I mean? Which is even worse. But I'm just realizing, like, that type of life, you have to remember, takes a lot of deep breaths, takes a lot of effort. You know, when you're feeling tired at the end of a long day, instead of just giving up and eating food, being lazy, get falling asleep in a food coma, you're starting your fast, you're drinking water, you're meditating, you're working on passions, you're, you're moving your body in healthy ways. You know what I mean? It's just... A complete difference in lifestyle could be the same fucking person to the core. Two different lifestyles. One offers the world up for on a, as as your oyster. One's fucking awesome, and the other one has some pleasures, but it's also a trick, and it's a bunch of bullshit snags and potholes in your life. That's all it ends up being, you know. But anyways, that's just something I'm going to start working on a lot. Instead of just giving in to feeling tired and stuff, just like breathing there and, and being and choosing to be alive instead of giving up. Because you could be sitting there living your life, barely breathing and thinking that you're doing things okay, you know? And then there's a you out there that just wants you to breathe and to be alive and to fight for love and, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. So many locked chests in this game.
tone deaf like me. Now here's where we're getting where I don't remember that much about the game after this. I thought I was stuck for a second. That's one badass chick, bro. Holding it fucking down, bro. That's what I'm saying. I think deep down, even if you've seen a lot of girls turn on you, I feel like eventually they're just going to come around and they want a man who loved him for life, you know what I mean? So if you're that kind of man, you're good either way, you know what I mean? No matter what happens to you. That's how it feels to me these days. Oh, <laughs> I just big ran from those bitches. Ooh, our chrono's slapping, bro. It's all those power tabs in his cereal. Super Goblin. He's an Ogun. What the hell does that mean? I keep having that feeling that, like, all my favorite content creators seem out of the game, so. It's like I gotta be my own content creator, you know what I mean? Oh shit, I'm playing a game. What's this? Don't mind if I do. Got ladder heaven here, and then we have a different route back there. I guess we'll go back later or something. If we can. Of course, I cheaped out and didn't go to the inn again. I don't know why sometimes it goes on the double technique when you definitely don't want to use that.
I just want to say her name, but I don't know what her name is. Lusa hitting hard. Holy shit. Bitch is slapping harder than Chrono. Holy fuck. Man's is coming at me, bro. Oh, Bird Ninja? This is sick. These guys should be easy. Yeah, most enemies who take physical damage just seem kind of easy. Someone's getting tough. Not her. Not her either, damn. Hey, I don't want to fight that guy. These guys are assholes. Am I supposed to put these guys to sleep or something? It's probably some trick that I don't know with these dudes. Oh, we're poisoned or two. What the fuck is that shit? do the best job of telling you what's going on in this game. No, not another one of these fucks. Probably like switch which character you're attacking with and stuff, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, we're all like poison or some shit. Or does this guy keep doing it to it? We got the tremors. Got the earthquakes. so many routes. Is that a chest over there I didn't get to? Or how the fuck did I get that? Some secret way of getting that. We have dicks. Oh, I got a bunch of healing items. That means the chests I don't have are like the, the dope equipment.
This guy's legit have 110 health. I'm probably being nitpicky if I want to go back and look for the chest I missed in that other path and stuff. So many ether, ethers, ethers. I always called them ethers when I was a kid, but I'm pretty sure it's like ether. I don't fucking know. I'm sticking with ether. I like that one. That one's wrong, but I'm sticking with it. What do you weaklings want with me? Looks like I should talk to him, but it's just an enemy. Probably should just go ahead and use a shelter, but Let's see if we can cheap out again again. I was supposed to get through there. Then it's all a lie, a sham, a sham. Wow! Apply directly to the douche head. Oh, these are just goblins. They're gonna be goblin as nutsack like all the bitches who ever dated me. Now we got big heal. Heals more than we even need right now. Hey! 
Fucking dick. Wait, what? A Chrono Trigger game made into, like, Sword of Mana would be sick, too. Like, with the modern day tech and everything, that'd be dope. What the hell are you doing here? Got fucking Vegito's little baby over there. We can beat this with no MP here. Oh, it's gonna be a fucking puzzle fight, dude. Alright, what a physical do? Physical does damage, maybe. Oh, but we're getting frog jutsued. We're getting countered already? Oh, no, we're getting countered. No. Big damage. Fuck me, dude. I gotta spend the whole fight healing. What does magic do? They're still fucking doing it, bro. I wish Robo was here to save my butt. Maybe we can just heal the fuck out of this fight with a bunch of tonics. And jip our way through this, let's see. I'll try a big heal. That was good. I don't know why she's attacking the wrong person. We won? I guess we did alright. Fusion? <laughs> oh shit! Demon strength, demon power. Who boxing on light on his feet? Fucking Mike Tyson demon. Oh, I was just about to heal myself, and you jipped me out of that. You bullshitters. You gonna knock your socks up. That was that was worthless. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> Wish I had some bombs I could throw at him from my inventory or some shit. Holy shit! This man just wind cyclone chopped me like he's from Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker. 
He's on top of a fucking cloud tornado. This shit came out before that. Storing tornado energy. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I love this game. It like seems like it's gonna be some generic shit RPG, but it's like the RPG of the of the era. It's the one that generic is based off of, you know what I mean? It's the one. All the bosses have been, like, sick, too. And then, like, the surprise boss encounters when you're not really ready for them and stuff. Oh, there's not that many of those. Oh, he's hurting. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This guy is fucking big strong. Heal her. Heal the healer. Heal Chrono. Hopefully survive. We go all in on this bitch. I'm waiting too long. We can take that. One last ice. Go all in. Fast attacks. That was a hit that we didn't want to take. Try to go all in, one last. All in. That was good. No, 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 bro. I don't have anything to, like, defense myself. This is, this is gonna fuck me. All in, guys. No, he's countering and shit like a douche. Marley's gonna die now. For the worst time. Tonic spam. More tonic spam. Well, that might not be enough. Oh shit, I am on I Oh, this isn't good. And this is all because I didn't fucking heal with a one shelter that doesn't even cost that much. Fuck me, dude. Now I'm paying the price. Oh god. Mid tonics are all gonna be gone. No, oh, fuck you, you're such a douche. I fucking hate this guy, dude. You rancid piece of fucking shit. Oh my god, man. I must be missing the sick-ass robo-attack or some shit. I'm getting fucked. I give up. I'm going all in. I don't care if someone misses experience or anything. I'd rather climb back down the mountain and take that other path for one- Yeah, bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> you fucking annoying- Oh my god.
I need a slice of pizza after that guy. Oh, now we got all the shit that was gonna damage him. And that's what I get for not exploring the path before here. This is a pretty cool section of the story, though. Even though that boss is <laughs> pissing me off, dude. I must be missing something that's OP, because that boss is effing me. They probably expect you to keep Cyclone healing with Chrono all the time. I'm too cheap on my ethers, my ethers for that. I think we're gonna leave that one chest on that mountain. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go back for that. Oh no. I, oh, that's funny that we got spouted out the mountain because I was literally gonna say, how the hell are they gonna get us out of this mountain? Are they just gonna shoot us off of it somehow? <laughs> yep. That's what they did. No, I'm gonna die. You pieces of shit would do me like this. Keep forgetting to save and go to inns and shit. Items were stolen. Pussy, why are they pussy cats? What the fuck? Doesn't help me. You tell me why the hell I can't do any damage to him. That's what I need to know. I'm running, man. I don't want that robot now. <laughs> Lusa sucks. Only good if you have healing jutsu to heal the boss's 500 counter attacks. 
Oh, and this doesn't even bring me anywhere. And is this the other path I w thought I was going to go down? Yeah, right. What's this? Probably some garbage. Wait, what is this? Oh. That's decent, at least. I don't know if I want to go back up for that chest, honestly, because it's hidden and I'd have to look for it, and it's probably not that good. So we're not going to go for it. Ha, 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 and suck my... Uh, uh, you, and... Mm, ooh, 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 and... Goo, 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 ga. I love you anyway, even though you're a fucking... Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. And a goo for you, too. My, my Roo Roo crew. Do, 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 do. Ta, ta. So the hero of the tale was just a kid. And we came to fill in the place of the hero. I love the storiness of that. Ah, the kid's roasting his dad. Mm, that guy's, the dad's kind of funny, too. People, uh, new RPG makers underestimate the, the value of a little characterization, because all of a sudden these little pixel dudes become characters that you remember with little moments that were great, you know what I mean? And then some of these RPGs just don't understand. Like, don't even have an NPC there if he's not going to be, like, a well-thought-out NPC, you know what I mean? Octopath Traveler has a little bit of that, but... When a game brings new stuff to the genre that's fun, uh, you know, you, you give it a little bit of leeway if it makes some mistakes, you know what I mean? The crazy thing is, like, I'm always going to remember this playthrough now, you know? Maybe we can check out these woods. See if there's anything interesting there next. Let's be real, I just want to eat some fucking chocolate hummus, baby. I'm all about that chocolate. Holy snakes in the grass. I had enough of these motherfucking snakes and these motherfucking toads and these motherfucking frogs. Bitches leapfrogging onto the next one. Onto the next motherfucking lily pad effect. Get the fuck off. Get the, get the fuck off me. That fucking bullshit. Am I just supposed to defeat these mother truckers? Spin cut! You're dead! Big damage! Woo! He's got freaking Cloud's Braver before Cloud had, had Braver. Except he might be spinning and they just... Couldn't animate it back then or something. Like, I don't know. We ain't afraid of poison. We got money. 
poison, poison. Plop poison, poison, ball Z. People who like like Dragon Ball Z are douchebags in my book. Unless you're talking about the first 50 episodes of Dragon Ball Z, you're not talking about Dragon Ball Z, you know what I mean? Everything after that was just a consequence of the initial happening of the universe, and nothing ever lived up to Goku going to fight Frieza. If you think it did, you're just lying to yourself. Like, yeah, Cell sucking out some bitches' boobs is pretty awesome, but... Ooh. Am I the master of the blaster of the disaster, or what? Ooh! Ooh, choo choo choo! Where's my little roo for some petties, too? Ooh, and I found a frog! <laughs> Did that shit, bro. Like, I'll... Even when I'm chatting and commentating, I'm just like a divine master of, of unraveling stories of greatness. Look at that shit, dude. Hey, someone's got to brag for me. I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's my policy. We came looking for you. Throughout the years, we still loved you. Because you were there for us. Oh, but there is. And I already did that on accident without the story telling me to do that. Oh, we'll wield it. We are fucking time travelers. Here it is. The pot I was gonna check. <laughs> the pieces are coming together and I'm just magically a a aligning the story. I'm in the zone. I cannot miss a step of the story. It's already there in my mind. The Melchior family long, long ago forged a divine blade of divineness. Oh, come on. Tell us where to go. How was I supposed to find all that? Oh, I guess the bush was shaking. Never mind. That's how I was supposed to find. <laughs> Me trying to act like I did that with no hints. The game gave me a hint. I had never these motherfucking snakes on these motherfucking gra 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 grass plains. Plain, 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 plain. Start spitting everywhere at the end. <laughs> that would be gross, but it would be funny if it was like a hot chick, right? Magic cave, what the fuck? I wanna go there. Oh. I need to ba bomb the ba bomb ba bomb ba bomb the wall. The walls, these walls, her walls are soft and delicious and inviting. But filled with teeth and they're lying. In these times that are trying, where everybody's dying, and we're living, and we're striving. But our life is a lie, man. Our, our life is a lie, man, and we have to deal with that. The life of a human, every day, man. And no one's got your back, but Mikey's got your back, and Mikey's there. Mikey fights. Mikey make you a smoothie. A smile on his face, ready to make you another one the next day. Expecting nothing in return. That's the Mike man. Policy. And if you ain't nothing like that, you ain't a human. You a liar. Deceiver. A lever. Not a believer. A money, wealth, health, love depleter. A cheetah running like a cheetah. Do, 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 do. And I crush you with my comments of the truth too. And I goo 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 as I live on slightly longer than you cause you're a rotten soul fucking jerkwad ass hole ooh ooh but still I wish you the best I used to suckle your breast and I like to fondle your chest 
Breasticles. Yo, give me those breasticles, and I'm that fucking guy, man. I like to touch the boob. I like to move towards the boob, not away from the boob. The man is the boob. The plan of the boob is to touch the boob. The boob is the boob is the man is the boob is the man with the plan and the master plan with the master man. Isn't this guy the blacksmith? Am I supposed to travel through time? Where is this blacksmith? Midden of village? Where the fuck is that place? Me, me daddy madman. Midden of village. Can somebody, can somebody help me here? I'm really drawing a blank. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I choo choo. I'm gonna try this. If it fails, I'm gonna be really mad. That's all there is to it. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Mikey has the food. Don't eat my food. Mikey had a food. To the end of time, to the gates of infinity, to the gate of oblivion and back. Back again to do it all again. Back, 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 back. Again. What's this? Are there two to the thousands? Oh, what the fuck? I wonder if that demon edge sword would be worth it for some reason. Slow, sort of. Dude, where am I supposed to go? I was banking everything on this. No! My ideas are shit! I am not done! Oh, this is Ozzy. Is this the same guy? Oh, this is a descendant of the... Oh. Now the pieces are coming together. The story's clicking. As you discover more stones that are unturned, overturned. And this chest is closing by the mysteries and love mysteries and love and fate. Oh never mind, it's not closed. It's open, her chests, her breasticles are open for the world to see. Before they fade with age and they sag into oblivion. Those breasticles, breasticles must be seen and touched and seen and touched and touched and loved and seen and touched and loved. They will be seen and they will be loveth. The breasts of mankind. Many breasts will be loved. Melchior? Is this even the guy? Because it traveled back through time, and this all happened in a parallel universe that happened before us, that told our story before we told our story, and then we told our story again after they told our story. <laughs> oh my god, I love doing that stupid shit. I don't want to hear this story. <laughs> say, I'll say that after talking about some gibberish story. We're going back to the prehistoric age, aren't we? And he doesn't update his inventory. I'm getting good at predicting the story right now. I'm in the zone. I've predicted like the last like 30 things very accurately, like a split second before the game wanted me to realize it. 
Okay, maybe maybe I'm giving myself a little too much good, but uh, I've been doing good. All right, we'll play a little bit longer. <clears throat> I'm gonna get, get get a snacky, do some deep breathing. I'll be back to play as soon as I can. I don't know. Should we bring the robe over, man? Choo 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 choo, boo 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 boo, boo choo 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 choo, and I choose you. Let's try the Robo Man over Lusa. <clears throat> We're calling her Lusa. I'm banking on that. Ooh, like ooh choo choo choo, and I'm Daddy Goo Woo with a sniper too. Call me cool dude, dude, dude. I'm that guy in that infomercial trying to sell you a knife or maybe a wife. Goo, goo, goo. I'm that weird fucking dude. And I do it too. Ooh, 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 choo. I goo, 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 goo. And I goo on the move. I move on the move. I move on. Gotta live on. Gotta strive on. Do, 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 do. Gotta shine on, my friends. Shine on, my friends. <laughs> you just, like, get into some old retro, like, game, and you're just, like, sitting there, like, for hours and hours, like, muttering some bullshit to the game. If you, like, completely entered your mind into a nostalgia world of old love for old things. <laughs> like, some weird shit like that. Oh, he's an un... He's got no elements, man. Take take him out his element. He he don't got one. You can't do that. He's a mirage. You're fighting a mirage. He's a ghost. Shadow play the most. The most dope rapper who ever. Who never wrote. Do 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 do. And I do 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 do. That's not very strong though. I wish some of the weapons like did more interesting things. I guess I can't beat up the game too much, though. Oh, we gotta get this guy magic. That's the problem. Fuck. You better not make me run around the room again. Did he give us our shit? You fucking piece of shit! Fuck you! Why? Oh, he might have just said that I don't get magic. No, he's gonna kill me again. Let's we'll let him kill, I guess. I think I'm close to being able to beat him, though, if that gets you anything, I don't know. Seems like it. This fucking piece of work over here. I think I'm gonna go... I kinda wanna take out some hummus. Some non-chocolate hummus. Chocolate hummus just jumped from, like, a food I never thought I was gonna eat again to, like, one of my favorite foods of all time. Can you hurry up, dude? can't run away. It's a fucking mock fight. Did he say I don't get magic? Is that what he said? Daisy, are we really not getting magic? <laughs> He's getting like really mad about it. I just wrote myself into all that bullshit because I didn't read a text box, I think. Yeah, he said something about him not getting magic, and I didn't fucking read it, dude. That's so dumb. And I read, like, almost every fucking text box I could've. The one. The one I don't read! Sixty-five bajillion PCs ago. Before the universe was started. The time that existed that made the universe start. 
What was there then? <clears throat> Gab Schmoblins. Someone got a little freaky in the bedroom. Speaking of cell. Let's be real though. Dragon Ball to the. From. If you can. Just Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball movies against Emperor Pilaf. And whoever the fuck else is in those movies, I forget. Up until. Dragon Ball Z. And, like, not the fight against Cell. The fight against Cell with Gohan is shit, and it's boring. The build-up for, like, the Cell tournament. That shit was all garbage. The only thing that was fun about that was Hercule. Let's be real. So, from only that section, the Dragon Ball, and then up until Dragon Ball Z, like, right after Frieza's dead, like, right when you meet Cell, that time, maybe. Right when you meet Trunks, really. Because after that, Trunks isn't even cool anymore, because he's not the strongest. That's where, that's all Dragon Ball Z is. Yeah, the Majin Buu series has a couple cool moments, but it also has a lot of drawn-out, annoying-ass fights against annoying-ass Buu. And they never actually get a nice, satisfying kill on the fat bastard, either. Oh, is that the girl that we've seen? Ooh, that is her! I was like, this girl looks fucking cute as fuck, dude. Oh, she's strong. She's... Oh, my God. I want a piece of that. Waifu all the way. Oh, shit. I was, I was already simping for Marley over here. What am I going to do now? Big simping! Uh, I'd be totally like the, the old grandpa with a shirt that said Big Simpin' on it. <laughs> had like a dumbass, like, Kappa face or something like that. Not the Kappa face. That one with the Asian guy laughing, whatever that face is. Craigasm? No, it's not that one. I don't know what one it is. You know what I'm talking about, you meme lords. I don't know that shit. I'm not a fucking... T Ten-year-olds who, like, masturbate over, like, the fact that they know all these memes and they're so fucking funny because they laugh about memes with their mom. <laughs> like, that shit fucking annoys me, dude. Seventeen-year-olds act like that, too. From the range of, like, six years old to seven to, like, eighteen right now, they're all, like... So, they're all cool kids, but a lot of them are fucking up their own butt with internet lingo. Like, you don't know, if you don't know that new, his, hippest internet lingo, you're fucking, you're old news, man. I don't even want to talk to you. Type of shit. Okay, maybe that's all made up in my head, and it's just my illusion of people not liking me as, as I age, but... Still. Mate, mate, mate. She's fucking already, dude. Marley's jelly. Ayla. Oh, I can pronounce that one. She's looking like Bulma. No, she's looking like that one. What's her name? What's that girl who, like, sneezes and transforms on fucking Master Roshi all the time? I forget that girl's name. Sag. Oh, Marley loves us already. Ha-ha. <laughs> That's what the, the girl that you don't think likes you, that's how she feels about you. She's just a stubborn old hoe. Time's gonna wear her down, and then she's gonna come back around. That's what they say, baby boy.
Oh, I love this interaction. She like punches him, hurts her hand a little bit, only a little bit because he's super fucking strong. You take plenty. Oh, I like this girl more than I thought. I might have to make room for her on the team, bro. I remember I had some memories of liking this character, and now I know why. I get to, like, run with her and shit. Aw. Oh. We didn't get to run with her. We got left in the dust. Surge. Yeah, my life is just like a hundred times better without Halo, dude. Now I completely see why everyone turned into douchebags who just party up all the time when they play the game. They're like, we abandoned in that solo life and we ain't ever doing that again. And I'm sitting there like fighting for something that I don't need to fight for, basically. What am I, what am I fighting for? No! Not the gumdrop. No. Do 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 you just like took up a character for the for the whole session and you wouldn't stop saying like the same fucking shit over and over. That would be hot as fuck, dude. Except if you were doing Mickey Mouse's voice while you're banging a chick, that'd be kinda fucking weird. <laughs> oh my god, well how am I supposed to get past that? My brain cannot compute this. Ooh, it's Kilawa Zoldic. Hold my Kilawa, hold my dick. Kilawa, hold this. Smell you later, guy guys. Looks like there's a sick dungeon in there, maybe. Maybe, maybe. The party is not ready. We're setting up. Oh, this girl is looking fine for some reason. Choo choo choo, I will choo, I go 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 go. <laughs> I started off when they had this dancing in that festival and I wasn't down and now I've played enough of the game and I'm like dancing with these guys. And this is no time to celebrate and he like starts dancing on me. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know about that one. Oh, so this wasn't that. This is like a male male guy who looks like a girl, but he's not a not a girl. He's a guy.
Wait, what am I supposed to do here? What the hell? Am I doing this right? Oh, there's a leader to fight. They don't really explain, like, why she's strong. That would be more interesting if they, like, showed, you know what I mean? Like, what what about her is, like, super strong. Maybe they will, but that's, it'd just kind of be a better intro to her, I think. I'll rip one of those fucking reptiles' heads off with her bare hands or some shit. Oh, you have to battle. There's a lot of yes-no answers in this, and you just never actually get to say no. You motherfucker. No. Let's see if I can cheese this somehow with two fingers. Oh, you're making me wreck my shit. Did I win? I don't like those. At least on this controller. She's gonna say something in her sleep. Yes, we get her. I guess we owe it to the robo for now. Oh, she high level. Oh, and she looks good and everything. See you later, Marley. <laughs> no, she... I kind of put a lot of my extra items into Marley and Lusa, though, but... Whatever. I don't want to be that sweaty about it. It's not in the spirit of Chrono Trigger, I don't think. Just, like, try to use just a couple of members and make them extra strong. It doesn't really matter. Chrono Trigger is all about the vibes, and that's why it passes the vibe check, baby. Wait. No, they said stuff about where to go, and I wasn't fucking paying attention. I was listening to my own inner narcissism bullshit. Fucking A-Dog. What do they say? No, they're not here anymore. Maybe someone will tell me.
You have nothing. Oh, we're getting closer to that 90 damage sword. Let's go. Oh, rocks a little bit better. Rage band. What the? Oh, yeah, that's never. She comes with mad defense. She's beefy, busty, awesome, power hungry. I'd like to see her characterized like in a newer RPG. She'd be a fun character to wa to watch. Wait, where was that screen where I like stole the armor from him before? Oh, I gotta get good armor for him now. Oh, and I can't now. Fucking A, dog. Whatever. Where's Marley at right now? Well, let's hope that's where we have to go, I guess. No, no, not here. Fuck that. Banking everything on Isla being super strong. I don't know if I have to go here, bro. I'm just wasting my time. I think I am going to take out a little bit of hummus. That shit is fucking good. I might go do that in a second and then just come back real quick. We could just dip into our tonic stores a little bit if we really are struggling though. Oh. And I didn't listen to what she said for one sentence again. I fucking fucked up. I kind of want to go talk to the villager to see if anyone can somehow refresh me, I guess. No, I don't think it's gonna work. Went south to forest maze. Oh, maybe I was going up there for no reason. Oh, good thing I came back. Are we in here? If we're in here and going on a mission, I'm gonna go get that hummus. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that hummus out. <laughs> I gotta give me some of that.
I'm feeling pretty good now. I don't know what, what had me so down earlier. Um. I like the way I eat now. Like I might, I might not eat the best stuff, but I definitely learned in the last few years to like only eat when I'm hungry and really enjoy the food more and chew slowly. And I learned rarely overeat. Lots of days where I don't eat as much as I probably could get away with, so that later on I'm, I'm hungrier and have days where I can really like enjoy food and go crazy. I feel like I've been doing a little better with that. I want to keep going in that direction as well. I want to get better. <laughs> that robot's funny. Oh, they're kind of cute, though. I don't know if they're related or if they're... I don't know. Oh, they're called reptites. I kept reading it as reptiles. Yeah, that's the way we like her. The true kind of badass woman. I don't know what the color changing is doing, but... What the hell does that do? Whoa, what? Is that just for her? Or is that... Oh, maybe she can't use it on herself? That seems a little OP, though. Does she have, like, super low magic or something? Whoa, what? You do that anywhere? The hell? Oh, we can get our guy some armor, I think. Maybe. I didn't know you could do that. Do one of those. Maybe you can only do that because the word can't go to the gate. I don't know. Back to the Robo Man for a bit. Now we should be pretty tough. And she can use that on everybody? What's her magic? Her 
her power is crazy. I feel like she's about to do some big damage with some sort of thing. Special move or something, I don't know. You weaklings want. Our girl's about to come up here and she's the monk. Yep, she's monk -huh. Ooh, everyone's doing big damage. You don't want to fight this lineup. Two healers and big damage. High HP. <laughs> Only thing they don't got is really good magic. This is the pre- this is the Stone Age, motherfuckers. We just need to club the dinosaurs in the fucking head. We don't need magic. And rip to that one chest and that one path that I missed that was secret. That I had a mid ether a mid ether in it that we didn't get. Is this a different ape? It doesn't matter, we're about to rip this guy to shreds. Wow, that was even quicker than I thought. Oh, I thought we got more cool items, but I guess we didn't get that much. It was just, uh... Some crap over. Bent sword, what the fuck? Oh, Ruby Gun was the one. Okay. Hero Metal. Oh, almost missed you. There hasn't been a shop that, like, really... The only shop that had good shit, it was un impossible to buy because it was too expensive. Every other shop just had, like, dog shit items. I mean, eventually they gotta sell something good, right? The only thing that looked, like, kinda worth it was the Titan vest that I... From, oh, now I want that. And I have no clue how to get it. What are you showing up about? It's coming to get ripped up. For not enough, or for an experience amount that I don't even need. Yeah, I used to really love Sabra hummus, and I think I still do. I haven't had it in a while, so I don't remember really what it tastes like, but... Some of these... Some of these Walmart hummuses are fucking gas, dude. Like, you could serve it to me in a restaurant, and I probably would... You know, dress it up a little bit. I probably would think it was, like... Like... Michelin star <laughs> or some shit, I don't know. And don't get me started on the chocolate hummus. You take the chocolate hummus, put a little bit of salt. A little couple of, uh, what do you call it? Crunchy salts on the top. Sea salt or whatever. Crunchy Celtic. Pink Himalayan. Crunchy, crunchy. Koshery. Crunchy, koshery. Cookie salt. Cookie boy. Cookie wonder. Joy, 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 joy. Put some of that on top. Yo, where is this chest? Where is the breasticles? How did I not see this? What is wrong with me? And it was just for a mid tonic, damn it. Literal no value item. No. Not you fucking apes in this fucking plane, dude. That monkey's looking sinister right there. Somebody crit. Yup. <laughs> Just when I was about to say it, literally said it on perfect timing. 
I had a feeling. No, I just had a feeling. It's like it's about time for a crit. Crit, 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 crit. crit. Now I see why old people are so annoying, because the older you get, it's just fun to be fucking annoying. <laughs> like, I always wonder, like, why my dad would, like, seem like he was trying to piss me off sometimes, and now I see. Oh, you get to see, like, what your next thing is sometimes? That's so fucking sick, bro. Marley's jealous. That's for sure. She a jealous hoe. Ooh choo choo. Oh, that's not for me. Sadly. But this one is. Oh, mid tonic. No! I will run. I hate you birds. Did I just start talking like a caveman on accident? The fuck? No. What is all this? I just want the treasure chest. I'll smelt these guys. Thick skins on these guys. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, and this is all just for an item, I think. Oh no, here. Okay. Oh, there was an item over there. It's probably a mid ether, or it's probably the only item that was good, and I missed it or some shit. Oh, this is a. This was the dungeon we're going to. I was just guessing. Do 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 do. The music got like really quiet. Oh, I know. I turned down my. Turned down my shit. Bam 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 bam. I think I'm gonna hop off the mic. It's nice talking to you guys. I'm gonna play a little bit more and chill out, have my hummus, and I'll be back with some Mario and some more games.
Go oh, girls and guys. Welcome back to another Mike and the Mike Chrono Trigger Edition episode. Gonna do a little bit of health talk. Try to change some of our ways today. Try to be a little healthier, happier. Require less and save more and stuff like that. Put the meat in the freezer, baby, you know. Eat the vegetables, eat the fruits. Put the meat in the freezer. Never see it again. Save it for a rainy day. Drink yourself some water. Call it a day, you know. I think with, when it comes to life, people just crowd their time with too much bullshit. And then they miss all the stuff that makes being a human good. So we're, we're missing out on love and loyalty and deep emotion and truly being alive and deep breath and togetherness and happiness and we're missing out on all those great things for sex and power and money and creation and proving yourself and going out there and waging war against others in various ways and money building lifestyles and all these weird things that it just never makes sense to me you know Um, I think it's mostly all those things that made some time so hard on me in life, you know? Anyways, I just wanted to chat a little bit about health before I hopped in some Chrono Trigger. I might actually reset this though. Um, so I can chat for a bit. Now I'm gonna go hop off the mic, I think. I wanna have a chill day. Yeah, the more and more I go through shit, the more I realize it's like, life don't give a fuck, you just have to fucking play by the rules so fucking perfectly that you rewrite the fucking rules, you know what I mean? People say intermittent fast, fast. People say go for a walk, go for more with more than one, go for a lot of long ones. You know, people said maybe do a little bit of yoga and meditation at the end of a long day to unwind after your shift at work. I, I said quit your job and fucking do four hours of yoga and five hours and six hours of meditation a day. Tell you actually become a powerful person, a powerful version of yourself that can really do some things, you know. I think people give up on the power of the human and they depend on the power of money and sex and youth and the machine and their looks and the things they can do with their body and their looks and it, people just get obsessed with all this inane fucking bullshit that just eats them alive and eats other people around them alive and that's the truth that's like what happens to, that's why relationships get eaten fucking alive and people turn into these like heartless monsters often or they like get jaded from a young age which a lot of people do most people do I would say and then they like spend the rest of their life hiding it from people and only either other people who are like jaded and awoke about their own jadedness can even like open the door for them to see the fucking light, you know. Meanwhile, the people who never got jaded are possibly still living a great life, you know what I mean? The entire time. A lot of weird little details are like becoming cl clear to me. As, as corny as that sounds, as cringe and, and horoscopy as that fucking sounds.
all you can really do sometimes is believe in yourself and believe in the love that you have to give, you know, no matter what. If you don't do that stuff and you don't meditate, you don't take care of yourself, you just, you might not think you're doing too much, too much eating, too much smoking, too much fucking, too much laziness, too much this, that, sitting around, too much. But the fact that there is an active battle pos opposition coming from you for that spiritual side of life, you know, the yoga, the meditation, the keeping up with it over the years, the daily consistency and committing your life to a, an honorable practice, all that stuff. Probably even like some type of spiritual religion too is important that I don't do, that everyone should do, you know what I mean? Connecting with the universe type of thing. I just feel like people are lying to themselves if they don't think it's real. I don't even think your brain's chemicals work right, or your spine works right, your body digests food right. I don't think anything happens right unless you do that stuff. I know it sounds crazy, but I know it sounds weird or far-fetched, but that's the most real way you can explain it, right? When you start going through some of this stuff, especially as an adult, or a wannabe adult at least, a waddle D adult if you will, It just seems so obvious to me now, and it's just like... Fuck, man, I'm ready to start bowing down to the universe, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I can't beat you, you know, I'm not trying to beat the fucking universe, I'm just a fucking human, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to go against the universe's fucking rules for how we live and how we treat people and what we do with our lives and who we become, you know? I'm fucking sick of battling or going against those rules at all. I want to battle for the side of good, you know what I mean? A lot of us, I think most people out there think they battle for the side of good, but the truth is, if we all did, the planet would be way different, and actually 99% of people battle for evil their entire lives, you know? Their entire lives are evil. They're mad at God, they're mad at life, they hate fucking living, they hate the fucking world. Hate what they got to do. Hate what they're going to go through. Hate every minute of it. Savage humor is the only humor that exists to 99% of the population. It's yada, yada, yada. The thing is, a lot of that shit's, like, very true, though. And we just pretend to ignore it. And then we're just, like, going to ignore it for the rest of the time so civilization never changes even a lick. Even a little bit. like we make these grandiose claims about being a light person or like bringing light to life but then uh, the actual truth is the night the night most people on the planet whether they have a smiling pretty young girl little face or, or they're a pretty little tiktok boy or not you know what i mean at the end of the day A lot of that shit's a fucking lie, you know? Or when the new generation has, like, this new attitude, like, they're gonna bring this great energy to the planet and change the world, but the planet's just been kind of getting worse in a lot of ways, you know what I mean? It's like, you're not gonna fix an overpopulated planet that runs off of a limited na natural resource by dancing on fucking TikTok videos and smashing down smash burgers and smashing uwu waifus on the fucking internet cuz you're the big fart sniffer big dog Twitch e-boy with 5 million subscribers and you they literally post videos of them like sniffing hot girl farts on the fucking internet cuz they want to like show off it's like the f weirdest fucking shit like, we, we, that's, like, what civilization actually is. Those people make money and they're famous, and their whole life is run off of, of that, you know what I mean? 20-year-old little boys who, like, did some dumb shit on the internet. I don't even know what they're famous for. Apparently, you gotta be a little kid who watched all their girl butt-sniff videos to fucking... Understand like why they're so fucking why who the fuck is Andrew Tate like I don't know who the fuck that is I like Joe Rogan you know what I mean <laughs> I grew up watching Fear Factor 
Let me eat some fucking cockroaches. La cockroaches. Let me eat la cock. I don't know, bro. I go on and on like there's something wrong with these fucking people. I and mean, we're not talking about it. And we're not thinking about it. We're not trying to change it. Like those type of boys are coming up and they got the money and they got the power and they got the success, right? Like we can't other people can't match that. Like that's not gonna happen for other people, you know what I mean? They've taken over the fucking planet with their little fucking caterpillar brains. They think they rule the fucking universe because they got a big dick for 10 years. It's like, relax, there's a new generation coming up who's going to sniff new girl farts on new TikTok videos 10 years after you, little boy, you know what I mean? You're going to be a bitter fucking man in about 10 fucking years. Most of these kids are little nitwit, butt-sniff, douchebag little boys. I fucking hate these new generations. I, I understand why all old people hate young people now. I fucking, I completely fucking get it. They're so fucking arrogant, so fucking annoying. Don't know what the fuck they got. Don't know how limited they really are. Don't know how to spread the love when they got the power. You know what I mean? Don't, 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 don't. What do they really do good? Oh my god, they have a nice haircut and they cared about how they looked in high school a lot so they could get hot chicks. So impressive. Much impressive. You know what I mean? That's like the least impressive thing a human being can do. Everything good happens from the age of 20 and onwards. You know what I mean? Let's be real here. All that kid shit, new age. The kids think because they fucked one girl in high school, they've like transcended. They fucked like one the one time the hot girl in school, and they like think they've transcended humanity or some shit. <laughs> the way people act, dude. Holy shit. I think it's, I see through a lot of bullshit, and that's why, like, a lot of girls in high school that I didn't even know liked me had, like, a fucking crush on me and wanted my fucking dick, you know what I mean? I'm sitting there, like, being a fat guy thinking nobody likes me, and all of a sudden... Nope, actually, there's a bunch of hot girls who have a secret crush on me, and they want to suck my fucking dick behind the fucking locker room. The secret little cubby behind the locker room after school. <laughs> They want to take me to Zumba class and watch their fucking hot, sweaty ass dancing in front of me when they have a husband. <laughs> like, some of these girls in high school are fucking kooky, bro. <clears throat> you got these other weird, like, emo hot chicks who, like, never talked to me once when I was fat, basically. <clears throat> and then the second I, like, lost weight and I guess I was good looking to them, they, like, are trying super hard to like hug me like they were my supporter the whole time or something you know what I mean when they never really said much to me or never really gave me a shot even as a friend not even a boyfriend and then like the second I come home from summer vacation they're like rubbing their fucking tits on me the first thing like sure thanks but I mean thanks for the kind gesture but like I ain't gonna turn you down but I mean Still something fucking whack about that, you know what I mean? That's all the shit I'm talking about. People are the fucking sin beasts. All those rich Mr. Beasts out there selling you fucking mid chocolate bars at an overpriced price at Walmart are fucking... They're not, you know what I mean? The, the, thing people, the things people pay attention to it are fucking cringe and stupid in my opinion. 2008 was better. 2012 was better. Anything was better than I, everything that's happened after, like, 2016, dude. I don't know what the world's where it's going. I thought things were going to, like, turn into, like, solar panels. Everyone's Elon Musk's son. Like, we're all fighting with lightsabers. People mastered the Force and learned how to live comfortably until the age of 150, until they fade away like a Yoda. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like... I thought shit was going to be at least somewhat dope. I thought there was going to be like 500 Mario Brothers games, 2D platformers, and there's just like 10. No, I'm just kidding, but... We got the wonderful world of ROM hacks to at least give us a l couple more Mario games to play. But even that's like... Ruined by big companies. Never embrace their fans. Their hard-working fans, you know. We not only buy your games, but we also spend our lives creating content for your games. And just because you guys haven't monetized that content all the time doesn't means that we're not going to be supported ever, you know, by any developer ever. 
It's like the the big company is like the cringiest dogma llama douchebag douchebag shit ever. Takes them twenty years to make a Smash Bros. game. It's like you guys just made a Smash Bros. game. Just take that game and make us a game in a year. We don't want to wait fifty years for a new fucking game. I'd rather have a new game that sucked every year, like Call of Duty, than I would wait six years for a game that takes six years to be good. You know what I mean? I don't care. I don't want to be part of that journey. Just fucking sell me Smash Bros. Melee 2. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Some Mario Sunshine 2, the later days. Mario is an old man. And there's a young come-up. Mario and Peach's kid. Everyone would gobble that shit generic story up. I just came up with it out of my head in two seconds. Without even thinking about it. People would gobble like I want to take a trip back to Delfino Island where Flood fucking takes me off into the the depths of the so sea ocean and we it fucking combines elements of Mario Galaxy and Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine into Mario Sunshine. It's so obvious like what game you would need to make. I could you could put me on a development team and I could envision them the best fucking money winningest fucking dope shit ever. People are fucking idiots. That way I just described Sunshine 2 is probably like everyone's fucking wet dream. Every Mario Sunshine speedrunner's fucking wet dream and I just came up with it on the back little scratch in a notepad that I'm going to crumple up and throw in a fucking trash can on my YouTube channel, baby. <laughs> like, you want to say I'm not a fucking into something and I'm not a big fan? I could write a whole fucking script for 20 fucking video game, amazing, life-changing video games in a fucking day, dude. Fuck you guys. Fuck the stupid-ass world. The 99% fucking naysayer, disliker, go on my YouTube channel and dislike my Mario Wonder video, fucking weird, cringe monsters. No wonder I got to come on YouTube and bash half of these motherfuckers half the time. Sitting there reeling back from the fight after that for the rest of my halftime when I get to breathe and have my life because there's so many fucking cringe shark boy, fancy boy, golden frosted tip fucking haircut dweeb fucks out there, bro. No fucking charisma. You're gonna make it into their late, late 25s before they fucking blow their load on some hot chick and they aren't the same man anymore and then some new boy rises in. Oh, look at that big shark shark big boy who was on the, the big big never really did shit. He was good for like two years and popular with amongst the douchebag young crowd that nobody cares about. Not really changing the world at all. Not really inventing anything new. They're sitting in front of a camera shitting themselves and farting on each other and laughing like fucking South Park characters. Except they're not that funny. And they're too absorbed in their own fucking youth and vanity. It's fucking disgusting. I don't, I don't know, maybe this shit isn't the right content for YouTube, but fuck you guys, bro. This shit, I, I'm, I'm sick of getting L danced on Fortnite by these dog shit 17 year olds when I haven't L danced on someone in fucking years. Like, fuck you guys. Can't even hop on Halo and be the best player in the world because I'm crowded by too many people who hate the best player in the world. Teammates fucking betraying me every fucking game because they don't like that I'm winning for them. Fucking weird fucks. I'm sitting out there like I'd kill for a fucking teammate who was even half as good as me. And cared that much, half as much as I do about helping them win. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. This fucking people are dog shit week, 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 week. They're crazy, bro. You have to get so fucking strong in this world. You have to get so fucking good, powerful, loving. That's the only... You have to be like super Jesus demigod of love to battle this shit. And all the people out there who think they are aren't even close. They're just the devil in disguise, bro. It's crazy. This planet is fucking crazy. All the pretty little women are just little monsters ready to turn old and hate the world. Like, it's crazy. You don't even know you're, like, dating a girl who's, like, and on some level she's more mature than you and she's ready to grow old and hate the world and you're like still 20 and you think that you're going to live forever and you feel like you're going to have love with her forever and she's just like not having it, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I bet a bunch of us know that story. Some girl you met and fell in love with and then it just turned fucking dark <laughs> and you don't even can't really pinpoint why and I, and I had to just describe it there to you right there, some of the main reasons why things got so dark and you had to go through this 10 year period where you're having these like nightmares and romantic dreams and they're like clouding your mind and it's forcing you into nicotine and it's forcing you into partying and it's forcing you into chasing your youth and it's forcing you into dog shit habits and it's forcing you into deeper into your life faster than you want to go and it's forcing you to sleep extra and it's forcing you into heartburn and it's forcing you into excessive eating and it's forcing you into sin and it's, you know what I mean it really, literally that's 
that's what that dark road that all these other people create of this 99% of the population, whatever is controlling the universe, whatever is controlling planet Earth right now. That's what it pushes human beings into. It pushes them to be evil. You know what I mean? You're going to become that person who does some of those things with your time as you, and it becomes more your time and it becomes more of a pain and more of a, you know what I mean? It really just does. That's just all there is to it. When you could have been painting a picture, when you could have been learning an instrument with your best friends from high school, when you could have been designing a video game with your other best friends from high school, when you could have been making an amazing family with somebody who you used to love, when you could have been doing this and this and this, yeah, I mean, none of those things happen and most people just so commit to going to work, falling into the Satan's machine of twisted dead 60 year olds instead of happy meditated 100 year olds, you know what I mean? That's really what it boils down to, though, right? Am I right? It's like twisted, dead 40 to 60-year-olds or meditated 85 to 100-year-olds. You know, that's really the, the the barrier there. That's the, the divide. That's, you know what I mean? People try to blur that line and act like everything after 25 is just luck, but... If it hasn't been clear to you, everyone, if you want to live, you have to go past 25. You know what I mean? The year doesn't mean nothing. Anyways, you just, you start to realize some shit as an adult about these people, bro. And then this world. Parents just start giving such a little fuck about you because they care so little about life anymore that they just fucking like talk over you instant like you'll listen to like 13 sentences in a row for them and then you wanted to say one thing that you thought was funny and then they just start talking halfway through your one sentence and your whole moment just gets ruined and you feel like you shouldn't even exist anymore type of fucking weird narcissistic abuse out of these fucking parents bro you don't even get to say a sentence so you gotta go talk to yourself in your room and ramble about life for five hours just to get a little bit of satisfaction back because of the rampant fucking disrespect and lack of love and indifference out of a lot of these people, bro. They're all just weak sauce individuals. You know, they're not making me a smoothie, but I'm making them a smoothie. You know what I mean? I'm sco scooching over on the bus to get to give weird fart butt big boy a, a seat because he's there's no seats left on the bus and I'm sitting three in a seat on a bus with a bunch of little kids, which doesn't even make sense because you're not supposed to do that. On a bumpy ass country road where the bus goes, bus goes super fucking fast every fucking day. Takes you an hour to get to school, an hour to get fucking home. Your whole fucking life's over. Parents don't give a fuck that your day's getting wasted. It's just a way for them to fucking let you go off to school and they can go fucking to work and smoke their fucking cigarettes and fucking hate you. Write little weird shit diaries about you and then you find them 20 years later and wonder why the fuck your parent hated you when you were a six year old so bad and you felt like you loved your family but you know what I mean like you just some you find out some weird shit as you go along and some people will say they found out some weird shit that was relating to you but they can't really describe it nearly half as articulately as I just did in my last 30 sentences so I don't know if that's very is, is nearly as true you know what I mean you don't have a, a reasonable, calm, smart argument that makes sense about it. You just, you feel a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the, that's, the, that's the attitude you get from a lot of people in relationships. Situationships. Now, we come up with weird fucking e-internet words and they think they're like so advanced because they came up with like combined words or something that don't mean anything. Urban, if you heard of the blue waffles on the Urban Dictionary, like, people are fucking dumbasses. Like, that's what the millionaire douche boy is talking about. He's talking about two girls, one cup over there. Laughing about it with his boyfriends when he was 16, and then two years later he acts like he's the big fucking clicks or he's the big fucking booga. I fucking took over the fucking e-world, PB. Like, people act like such douchebags, bro. I'm not saying it's every single one of them, but it's every single one of them. It's 99% of people. How, I don't care how good they fucking hide it. it. Always comes out. The dude who smoked a fucking ounce of weed a week to himself off of his grandma's money, and you helped him clean up his nasty basement, you helped him lift up his, like, 400-pound furnace, 
when you were back when I was deadlifting a bunch, I did this shit. You help them clean up their backyard. You do all these nice things for them, and and they smoke you up with a couple times. And this is like a person with like a dirty ass house, and you actually like help them clean their like nasty condom floor fucking bedroom with with condom with condom cum stains on the floor. Well, you've seen the, you've done a lot for this person, despite them realizing it. And then later on, it turns out the couple of bowls of weed that they smoked with you, they actually expected something back for that too. They wanted more back than what you had already given them—the friendship and the time and the helping them in their house that was clearly gross. You know what I mean? Multiple times out of the goodness of your own heart. Their floor literally has like fucking mushrooms growing out of it in the basement, like big ones. Like, you could harvest them if they weren't poisonous, and you could eat them for dinner that day. Along with your fucking Kiwaskum fucking summer sausage, and your fucking Kiwaskum fucking sausage link. And your bacon wrap fucking bullshit. With your soda stream fucking dog shit. Fucking poop stained dog deck fucking dumb fucks. Bunch of fucking idiots, dude. And you're, like, nice to these people, and you help them out, too, and it's just, like, you know they're thinking about it years later, like, oh, that guy actually had my back, and I treated him like shit when I, when I shouldn't have. He really just wanted the best for me in a lot of ways, and I never really listened to him. You know what I mean? Because I've felt that about people, so I know that people have felt that about me, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, that guy actually cared more than almost anyone I've ever met shit <laughs> that's literally the quote of your of most of your ex-girlfriends like most of us who have a, a, a list of ex-girlfriends that we feel bad about like th that's how those girls friends feel deep down they might be monster suicide angel weird harpy super beasts of the internet now peddling their fucking dog shit wares on tiktok and youtube shorts but at the end of the day, they're not as funny as me, and they're not as good-looking as me at, at age 40, and they're not, you know what I mean? At boomer status, they're bitter about life, and I'm still chugging along. And, you know, I don't mean to be that harsh, but that's really how it is. I gotta be that savage and rip them apart, because they did the same to me, you know what I mean? I'm just returning the favor in a, in a courteous, uh, disserved cold sort of way. Anyways, that's the health bullshit I've been going through. And all those things, I know that's a lot of shit, a lot of bullshit, but all those things that have affected my life in that detailed way, I sort of just described a lot of things. Situations I've been through and people I've seen and troubles I've gone through as a result. It all, it all starts to click and I wake up and it's like, oh shit, I'm fucking Mike Goggins, baby. I'm the fucking guy. I'm that fucking guy who lost weight. I'm that fucking guy who turned down the hot chick from high school for a, a hotter chick I, I, was, I was already in love with. You know what I mean? I'm that one guy who can have one girl at a fucking time who's like that big, 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 big lover. You know what I mean? Like, you can't replace me. You know what I mean? You can get a list of five different chode dick fucking little bitches who don't do shit with their lives. Or you can get Big Mikey who's speed running Mario and, and Zelda. You know what I mean? With, with a lifetime boundless amount of love, like, I'm irreplaceable, unforgettable, irrevocable greatness. And everyone has that potential to be half of me or even a quarter of me. And it's like, none of them even reach that. They buy their fiber internet with their granddad's paycheck and then... They act like they're half as good as me at Halo, and then they never go on social solo queue, and they never beat me once <laughs> in their entire lives. When they do on a Smurf account, they act like they're the king shit of the universe. And then I beat them in ten better matches, disproving any skill they thought they ever had. That's usually how it goes. That's the truth of it. Never trust a one and doneer, you know. If someone's one and done in you, oh, I helped you out that one time. Now you owe me. Oh, I messed up and owed you money that one time. I'll get you back one time, but now I don't owe you anymore. 
oh, I fucked you one time, and now I don't, I don't want to fuck you anymore because it was fun fucking the shit out of you for that one period in our life, but we're never going to love each other again because I'm stubborn and I want to try new things, and I love taking advantage of this world and having getting as much as... There's this greed <laughs> propelling everyone forward through their jobs and through their sex lives and through their adult years and through their money-making endeavors and through their internet ego and all this shit. It's really fucking weird, dude. I'm just over it. <laughs> I'm fucking over it, dude. So I'm playing my fucking Mario, play my fucking Chrono Trigger, and just forget about the rest of this, the rest of the people on the planet, honestly. They don't want to play Halo against me because they're too shit. They don't want to forge Halo maps with me because they're too boring. They don't want to play level head with me because they're too shit at life. They don't want to play Mario Maker 2 with me because they got no passion, no ambition, no drive, no no zeal for life. They're all used up. Their tube of sexual toothpaste glue is used up on the daily, 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 daily as they stroke it to the hot chicks they can't get over. Um, strokey, stroke, 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 stroke. Uh, you name it, bro. I just, that's what I deal with. Those are my friends. Those are my lovers. Those are the companions I had in my life. I'm sitting over here, like, doing the funniest shit, trying to change my life for the better, getting into all these great ideas, detoxing, juice fasting, green spreading, spreading the message of truly changing the world, the deepest depths of spiritual connection, going back there again after, after having given up my entire spiritual dreams to sadness, this and that, this and that a big journey and like big things I'm doing awesome shit and I got douchey over here with a job and a used car that cost ten thousand dollars trying to brag to me after they broke my heart you know what I mean like douchey 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 you name it douchey owe me 200 bucks for all the stuff I did for them and they never gave me that 200 bucks back and they just pretend like they don't got stuck as they're fucking king shit of the universe you could talk to my family and act like you still care about me, but you ain't going to give me that 200 bucks you owe me, are you, you fucking sack of shit? You know what I mean? I don't want your friendship anymore. i already seen who the fuck you were. You aren't a loving person like me. You're a fucking evil super beast fucking douche monster who only cared about themselves and their group of other friends. Their, uh, AKA their other group of friends who matter more. AKA their other group of friends who they live with. AKA their other group of friends who they actually do stuff with. You're just a side friend. You get this sort of feeling out of so many people, it's disgusting. It's this clicky. You're not privy to our inside joke. The first time I had a girl in middle school say it's an inside joke to me, I was disgusted for life. My mind was warped. I was like, I thought we were friends. We grew up together. This girl, like, held a grudge at me for, like, four years because I said a joke in front of the class, a harmless joke in front of a class while we had a, some high schoolers visiting us. I'm not even going to get into it. It's just... These girls are fucking weird. These humans are fucking weird little mon vanity-obsessed monsters. Anyways... So that's my health talk for the day. That's what's been impacting my health. I realize it now. I thought it was just me. I thought I kept thinking like, oh, I got to be the problem. It's my addictions. It's my weakness. It's me, 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 me. And I'm waking up slapped in the face with, with heartburn when I really didn't deserve it. I just was so trapped up in sadness from the past that I accidentally didn't digest my food right, went to bed and woke up with heartburn, you know. But I'm sitting there feeling like it's my fault. And then it, it hit me all at once. And that's why I had. A, that's why I decided to do this commentary. But and it's like, holy shit, dude! Not only is it not me, I'm actually the opposite. I was actually the guy who was fighting against all that shit: the heartburn, the sadness, the the depression, the sickness, the killing yourself over over past traumas, the this and that, the this and that. I was trying to help people with this, but I was getting crushed down by jobby douchey McJobby jobby job selfish. Lord, Lord of the selfish land, my girlfriends, my best friends, the people I cared about, all these people were that and more, and they were worse than that, and they're even darker than that, and I don't know what they are, and I'll never know what they are. I'm a, a man of the light, and I don't know what they are. I give love. I would love any of my ex-girlfriends in, in a friend way, 
in a supportive way, in a psychiatrist way. I would be there for them as just a distant acquaintance and messages. I would be there for them as a lover, as a husband. I would be there. You know what I mean? That's the kind of guy I am. And none of these people are like that even a little bit for me in life. So and that's just a little bit about me. You know what I mean? I'm the fucking best shit you'll ever find, bro. My shit don't fucking stank. It's fucking good, good. You can't get enough. <laughs> it's not like something some, like, Hispanic person would say. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was funny. But for real, though. These people are so fucking dog shit, bro. I literally ruining my life over dog shit people and don't even know it. Until I have to wake up for the thousandth day finally realizing it. After suffering for a thousand fucking days. Thousand five hundred days in a row. Holy shit, dude. I do, I do feel some weight off my shoulders though, honestly. Some weight that I wasn't, didn't, you know, I didn't even know it was there. I didn't know that was weighing on me so much. I didn't even know that could like happen. Stuff like spiritually weighs on you and if you don't vent it, meditate, reflect, grow, commit, grow your willpower to live, grow your your love of life. If you don't do all those things and more, weight builds on you in life and that's the truth of it and people don't understand that and they don't take that weight off themselves and it's like you have to be your like your own teacher, your own spiritual teacher, your own psychiatrist, you have to be your own caretaker, you have to be your own everything, and people aren't taught this thing, I didn't even know this, you know what I mean, I knew I had to make myself eat and shit, and I liked boobies, <laughs> that's what I knew, and I liked movies, and TV shows and video games, and music, and I like dancing, and I like goofing off, and I like food, you know what I mean, like, I didn't know there was this whole other world of actual shit that's not just little kid shit, that actual shit that you have to deal with as an adult and you have to actually have to do, you know what I mean? And if you don't do this shit, you're instantly into the 99% of human beings who are just evil, dog shit, caterpillar brain, TikTok, bob, head bobbing obsessed weird fucks. Anyways, that's the kind of shit I've been going through. It's been it's been a journey. But I'm feeling good. It's going to be fun playing some Chrono Trigger and some other games, some Mario Wonder and stuff. Uh, just going to do my best to have a good day here. Take care of the dogs. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys down the road, hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to do a commentary for a while because I'm getting kind of sick of these, but... I think if I take care of myself, I, I won't be prone to making another commentary. If I, if I follow this new plan of living and these new ideas, and, I, and in, in a way I return to the old good things I always hoped for, I, th I think, you know what I mean, I think I won't need to do so many commentaries, I won't need to vent so much, and I could just focus on the games and have some fun and keep going, you know. So that's kind of my plan for the next couple of weeks and everything, and Well, don't forget to drink some water, take some deep breaths, and, and, and enjoy being alive. Those three things, you know. Come back to some simple staples. Whenever you're struggling in life, just come back to some simple staples that are going to keep you going, you know what I mean? That's what I'm realizing. It's, like, it's when you forget about those simple staples in life, the real, the real good things in life that are there for you. Like you can't be forgetting about those. Those got to be on the daily. You're sharing those on the daily. You be, those be, those have to become you. You know what I mean? If you don't own being a human, you're not gonna be a human for long. I don't want to say that because that's dark to say and, and cringe, but but it's true. And and I need to hear it, and other people need to hear it. Honestly. Yeah. 
And don't lie to yourself and, and let those sins rule over you and let them trick you into thinking that you can get away with them and shit like that. Because that happens. Happens to everyone. It's part of life. I'm sure the Bible teaches some of this shit. I'm sure a good parent would teach some of this shit, but a lot of us don't have those, so... So, unfortunately, you might find out a little late, you know? Take care of yourself. That's all I got to say about it. So, anyways, gonna have some fun here playing some Chrono Trigger and, and relaxing, and I'll get back to you guys with a lot of gameplay and a lot of new videos in the future. Still got some high hopes for Rivals 2 next year and uh, Hollow Knight, so... Maybe Men of the Hollower will come out and surprise us, too. Who knows? Crow Sworn would be sick. If Crow Sworn, Rivals 2, Hollow Knight, Men of the Hollow are all out, like, somewhat early next year, I'd be fucking ecstatic with those, honestly. That would be sick. Even just three of those games. Heck, even one of them at this point. You know, I'd, play, I'd be down for one of them. I don't like banking all my gaming dreams on one game. I'm not like that anymore. I don't. I, I don't think that's a good way to game. But sometimes you got to. I'm banking all my gaming dreams on Chrono Trigger right now, and it's working. Everything is coming up, Melhouse, baby. It's coming up, Lucky Sevens, Cherry, 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 Mario, 99 level, 99 one ups. That's how fucking good Chrono Trigger is. Whoa, it's 60 degrees outside and I wasn't outside? Fuck. It's 47 now, but... Maybe I can still catch a little bit of this nice weather. Well, thanks a bunch for tuning in. This commentary made all those pointless commentaries feel like they were worth it. So that's good. The Last Faith is released. Now we gotta see what the review is. Oh fuck you, I don't watch ads. I ain't end this peon shit. What do we got here? Twenty-seven thousand views. What's well, this? said the last thing. If you want more from the crew. No. I hate those fucking pop-ups at the end of videos. You're trying to like rewind ten seconds and game on your list. But navigating the maze of different areas and busting the big ugly masters is challenging and satisfying. The smattering of spells look fun and the collection of weapons are genuinely cool with special abilities that are a blast to let loose. I just wish this game gave you more space to experiment without having to trade combat effectiveness. All that said, The Last Faith is not the pinnacle of what this sort of game has to offer by any stretch, and there are plenty of amazing ones I'd recommend that you play before crossing this one off your list. If you want more from What are those? Why didn't you mention any of those? Are the big thing to say to not Oh, if you've already played genre leaders like Blasphemous 2 and, or Bloodstain. So he's arguing that Blasphemous is probably better than The Last Faith. So The Last Faith is like a game that's probably like a little bit better than Watcher Chronicles and Moon Scars or something like that. The way the reviewer describes this game in the beginning basically describes all games ever made. IGN gave this an IGN out of IGN. That guy had to refuses to accept the 7. Blasphemous 3 Lies of 2D. What the fuck? That's kind of funny, actually. 
It's it's a great game. Give it an eight. <laughs> I love how people get into these reviews like I do. It's so fun. Bro really played a 2D Souls like, and okay, I love this. Okay, I don't like the little kid John. I don't like like moody, sassy young kids, but sometimes they're so funny, bro. Bro really played a 2D Souls like, and as soon as he hit a uh, obscure story, he lost interest. If you know the genre and the audience this is going to go for you you know the no commas anywhere you know the audience if you know this is the weirdest sentence ever if you know the genre and the audience this is going for you know the audience who is going to be looking at this review please score titles appropriately for the okay that wasn't a bad of a sentence never it was just hard to say the problems you encountered are actually pluses <laughs> with a spelled weird to fans of the genre this appeals to that is true, though. Somewhat, at least. <laughs> ah, yes, the infamous 7. Felt more like a 6 to me. <laughs> what is it? 6 means it's a bad game. <laughs> I don't know if that's what 6 means. Shouldn't mean that. There's just not that many good games. So a 7 is perfect, right? IGN always puts bad scores to any game. This dude sounds like he died a long time ago. <laughs> if you're into Metroidvanias and 2D art, this is the game for you. They gave it a 10? What is that comment? I can't read this shit. After a while, it's like, what are you people talking about? Oh, he was literally just there to troll people. What a fucking douche. Now I see. They gave it a three. These people are douchebags, dude. It's really a nine. I wonder. It doesn't look like a nine. Plays like one. It's better than Blasphemous. Kind of hard to say since there's... Blasphemous 2. In my opinion, Blasphemous 2 greater than Last Phase greater than Blasphemous 1. So Bla Blasphemous isn't a 10. Who the fuck said that? Maybe for $2 when it first came out, it would have been a 10. Yeah, I think I'm more interested in Blasphemous 2 than Last Faith, but Last Faith doesn't seem like a, a big pushover. Kind of like After Image, it's one of those games where it's like, you could argue it looks a little generic, but then you could also argue, look at how much content this game has that looks pretty quality too, so, you know, how generic is it if, the, if there's that much content and it's that quality? Especially like a game like Eterna Noctis, like I don't even know why I stopped playing that game, it's fun. This is why no one believes IGN. Blasphemous is better. You know, I actually, what I like to do is wait a few months and then look at some Steam reviews after a few months. Like, look at some of the newer ones that happened. That's when I like to look at it. I feel like you get a better idea then. Like, how I thought Moonscars was a good game right away, and then I played a little bit more of it, and I was like, oh, it's so fucking jank, dude. It's not a bad game, like, it's definitely serviceable. Or like how I thought Tarnishing of Juxtia was decent, and then I played more of it, and it was just like the boringest, I couldn't even, I can't describe how boring it was. It was so fucking repetitive and boring. And I am like, I'll play like the boringest RPG ever, so the fact that I was bored, you know what I mean? I love Metroidvanias too, so... Sick of people complaining. This is a butthurt society. Can't satisfy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Can't satisfy. Nobody sounds like women always complaining about something. Just enjoy the game. Shake my head. 
I kind of, I kind of agree with that guy the most, honestly. I'm going to get off of that topic, but that game turns out about how I thought it would turn out. I'm glad it isn't trash. I was more interested in Lords of Exile, but that game seems to have died off. I really did have a little bit more hopes for that game, I guess. I was hoping it was going to be, like, way better than Blasphemous, but it looks like it's about as good as Blasphemous 1. Which is alright. Ain't nothing bad about that. Good attempt, and the developer definitely has a chance at making a sick-ass Metroidvania because of it. Or a sick-ass retro-style game as well. Yeah, I might play just a little bit of Chrono Trigger and then end this session short, unfortunately, and then go for a walk and come back. Check up on the dogs. And it's funny, like, just after I, like, I realized a lot of, of that shit about life and, the, and the, all the people that I've had to deal with that I've felt so damaged by. Like, the second I talk about that, I'm in just in, instantly motivated to play games, take care of myself, do yoga, do art. Like, all the things that are sometimes hard for me to get ambition to do, they, like, instantly become interesting it for some reason. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It literally feels like some of these evil actions from people are the weight on my mind that is refining some type of diamond on the inside. It's really weird. It is kind of disappointing because... I had so so many high hopes for 2023 Metroidvanias, and none of them came out, dude. No Hollow Knight, no Crow Sword, no Gestalt, um, no... A uh, I almost said After Image, that the game didn't come out. No, um... Oh, fuck, I lost the other one. In my listing, I lost the other one. Oh, Rune Fencer, Ilya. There's, like, so many... There's, like, five more, too. No Castle in the Darkness 2 information. I thought that game was going to be out by now. Um, this and that. So many games. There's like probably like ten more that I forgot about. Those are just the big ones. There's like this one that looked like Hollow Knight and has like a little mask guy. Looked pretty good. Crazy, dude. I'm here, I gotta play Chrono Trigger from like 1990 something. Cause they'd, uh, because they didn't come out with even one out of like 15 of the Metroidvanias I wanted to play. I guess I should have been happier with Ghost Song and After Image. I guess those are probably some games I'm gonna check out eventually cause they're not coming out with shit dude. I don't care how bad they are at this point. They seem pretty good. I'll, I'll suffer through the bad for some good Metroidvania, you know what I mean? And fuck you, Team Chair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life, even after I, I play Hollow Knight Silk Song and fall in love with it, I'm gonna spend the I should play that game with, like, fucking headphones on or, like, the audio cranked up and shit. With a new fucking gaming monitor. That would be sick. Oh, I might even break... I might even... <laughs> I might even break down and buy, like, a sick monitor on Black Friday just for Hollow Knight and just for, like, Halo or in some other games that I want to have a nice monitor for. Fortnite and stuff. I might do that. That might be fun. And then this monitor can be a backup for the family or something. Give it away to someone. 
Um, we'll see. I'm, I might cave and do that because that sounds pretty fun. But if Hollow Knight came came out like got announced on this in December, I would probably would I probably would buy a monitor just to make the occasion more fun. Like it's worth it to me for that. I'm <laughs> getting all excited like a nerd. Anyways, that's most of the commentating I want to do for today, but... Sorry for the, you know, the big rambling shit show, but... It is what it is. It was necessary from all the... Logan Paul I've had to ingest in my fucking life because of this cringe world can't stop showing me fucking Logan Paul shorts I don't even fucking care who he is bro He's famous enough enough people care about him leave him out of my fucking feed you know what I mean I want to see him I don't he's not gonna ever affect my life leave me alone I don't know I'm looking at little video clips of this game and it looks like it could be like more of an 8 out of 10. And maybe this person was just so jazzed up on Blasphemous that he thinks everything's... Like just from the mechanical... Or the way you pick up items and the way the character moves around the map and... I'm watching a little bit of it here. Let me watch some more. The, the animation quality... It's almost, it looks more enjoyable to look, to look at. Like, if you look at a picture of it, it might not look quite as good as Blasphemous, but then you watch it and, and the animation of the enemies and then, and some of the combat even. It also is a little bit more like Castlevania, it looks like, than, than Blasphemous is, so that's also, could be a positive. Um, I'm trying to, like, see what I can take in from this gameplay here. I don't know, I'm watching it and it's looking pretty fun. It's looking like I might have more fun on this than Blasphemous 2. I'm a sucker for those bread and butter Castlevania-like games. The character looks cool, the menu looks in-depth with a lot of options and a lot of stuff to do, RPG elements. And Actually, the character looks really cool. These people who play the whole game when it comes out are crazy, bro. How the hell do you do that? They got more ambition than me. They're on, they're on the juice, man. Yeah. This popular YouTube video said something about he was self conscious about getting a little rambly, like he was rambling on too much. And I say the same kind of things. I guess I'm not too far off from these famous people. This guy gave it a four out of five. Game. I still think it's going to be worth playing, but there are a, a couple little quirks that you're going to have to get used to with it. Like, you know, the fact that you're not going to really be able to see when you fully filled out a zone without jumping off a ledge to kill yourself. Like, stuff like that. It's 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 so weird. It's so weird because we just remove the gravity penalty and, and have the zone fill out a little bit easier, and then we could have avoided all that. But uh, either way, last faith drops today it is a lot of fun i will say you know i got uh, about 20 hours out of my first playthrough so definitely a pretty beefy experience for a metroidvania and i definitely do want to go in uh, and try a, a strength build and see how that goes compared to if he's down to play a second time i'm you know i probably would like a first playthrough honestly i think i'm gonna give like uh i'm not gonna buy it right away unless it's on got it on a newcomer price 
which I like when games do that. I think newcomer prices should be more of a thing. Like, I should have only had to pay forty-five dollars for Mario Wonder, or like fifty bucks. You know, like if I buy the game on the first day, chances are I'm a loyal fan, and you probably should let me have it for a couple bucks cheaper. You know what I mean? So I fucking love when developers do that. That shit. That shit will make me buy a game that I'm probably not even gonna play for three years. Because just because I like that what that developer is doing so much. Like that's the kind of guy I am. That's how much I value value, you know? You value your customers, I value you, you know what I mean? That's I really like having that attitude. I think a lot of people just don't understand it. Uh, I think I lost all my light, though. Yeah, the, like, it's getting dark. I might not even... Yeah, I think I'm just going to stop the recording and I'll come back and play a little bit. Because I want to hop outside while, it's, while there's still a little bit of light there. Um, so it was nice talking to you guys. And I'll stop chatting your ears off. I'm not going to be doing these commentaries this long and this ranty forever. Eventually, it'll just be me popping in for five minutes talking about something new and then... That's what it's gonna. That's what it's gonna turn into very soon here. I don't really have time to devote to this anymore. There's more important things that I gotta get get going in my life. I did a lot of venting. It was good, you know. I I can't vent to the internet forever. You know what I mean? I got my use out of it. I know it wasn't always a good use of my time to sit there and talk about shit, but. I definitely got value out of it, and that's all that matters. Right? But yeah, it's nice to see that last Faith game comes out. Gives me hope for some more Metroidvanias. So I think I'm excited to play After Image and uh, what's that other one called? Heroin Anthem or something like that. I forget what it's called. It looks pretty fun. There's one called The Vagrant that looks like a nice little side metroidvania there's another one that looks similar it's not the vagrant but it looks similar to that game i forget what it's called usually goes on sale on steam i'll probably talk about that game eventually because it looked kind of fun Looks kind of like salt and sanctuary maybe a little bit different graphical style Uh, but yeah, there are some Metroidvanias that I do want to dive into, and there's some that I haven't finished that I really like. Minoria is really fun. Hunter X is really fun. Blasphemous is, is really fun. Um, I also wanted to give the game Lost Runes another chance, because I was looking at some... I was a little bored by the simplistic f combat and the punishing combat. It's simplistic, but it's very punishing. It's like Dark Souls, sort of. It's if you've made a 2D. And I was kind of not interested in it by the beginning, but I don't think I play... I think I needed to play like another hour or two because it looks like the combat really picks up in some of the screenshots and the video footage I looked at of that game, so... I did want to give that game another shot because I think there's some more fun there for me, for sure. Uh, Cathedral, obviously, is an amazing game. I, I put Cathedral up there with Agalos. I think those games are both super underrated. Especially if you're a retro... If, if you're one of those guys who always wanted to see... More, like, NES, Super Nintendo games, like, evolved into modern-day Metroidvanias, that's literally Cathedral and Agalos right there. You know what I mean? Those are... Prime example, Cathedral, Agalos, Castle in the Darkness, and whatever the hell Castle in the Darkness 2 hopefully turns into. Those, those That group of games, is and like games like Astalon, all those games like embody exactly what a lot of us are looking for in Metroidvanias, you know what I mean? Rune Fencer Ilya looks like it's about to come up and possibly one-up a lot of those games. So I'm, I still have high hopes for that game. The, that that's one of those active teams that looks like they, even though they didn't quite fill, they didn't quite get the game out there as fast as we wanted. It looks like they're so. They remind me of Team Cherry, you know, one of those teams where even if they take a couple extra years and you get fucking mad at them because it takes them so long, like you end up loving them because the game ends up so good. You know what I mean? 
that sort of thing. It's like a love-hate relationship, but it ends up being good. I don't know. That's how it feels. It's kind of how I feel about Crow, the Crow Sworn team and the Rivals team. Like, Rivals of Ether came out a long time ago, and we're just now getting something new, so... I know it sounds like I'm just demanding a lot, but I mean... If you hook me in a video game series, bitch, you better be coming out with more. That's all I gotta say. Don't fucking hook me on shit and never come out with it, Nintendo. Fucking Bungie. Microsoft. Douchebags. Squaresoft. Square Enix. Fucking hooking me on this shit and you never come out with anything ever again that's anything like it, even a little bit. You fucking assholes. Took us fucking... 10 years to get another Mario game that didn't suck. Motherfucker. You can't even make your own Mario Maker right. Like, just fucking let us make the map how we want it, the shape we want to do it. You don't gotta dumb it down into fucking rectangles. Mario doesn't have to be rectangles. Mario can be squares. Mario can be more than that. You know what I mean? I want to travel underground and I want to climb mountains. And jump off the tallest Koopa's head in the highest top of the highest mountain and land on the highest checkpoint flag of all time. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, make it wonky. Make it crazy. Try some shit. Jesus Christ. People are so fucking afraid of failing, dude. You're afraid of failing, so the last time I played a good Mario game was like Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. It was New Super Mario Bros. on the DS. And that was just a short little $30 game. So it wasn't a full experience either. Remember when games were 30 bucks, Like, like nice-ass DS games? Like, shit. And then they would be on sale like the next year at GameStop too for cheaper most of the time. Anyways, that's like the most boomer thing you could ever say. Remember when gas prices were a dollar? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Zoom, 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 boom, boom, boom. And a millennial will take along too. A whole Scooby Doo crew. Token it up in the Mr. and Dad's mystery van. You don't know what that concoction is on the floor that you're stepping in. But you put up with it for the free weed. And the good conversation. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just fucking around. But yeah, that's that's my commentary for the fucking week. I'm I'm over these. This this was the last one for the last one, boys. I got some gaming to do and some things to do. Some chocolate hummus to eat, baby. Chocolate hummus is the fucking bee's knees. Anyways, take care of yourselves, guys. I'm going to go for a little walkie. A little walkie walk. And uh, I'll be back with a lot of videos. Catch you guys down the road. I'm going to play a bunch of Chrono Trigger today and some other stuff. Um, you know, stay strong out there. A lot of my troubles have been, like, oh, I don't know. I, I made a lot of friends on Halo, and now all of them are, like, gone or busy or not friends anymore or blocked, and it's been kind of tough ever since then. I was leaning on all those people, and I was 
hoping that they were all going to be around, and now they're not, and it's, it's kind of tough. So anyways, I'm going to hang strong, and hopefully i got some more days with some friends ahead, you know. So much love to you guys. I'll catch you guys down the road. Thanks a bunch for tuning in to the ranting rambler himself, the Mick Jambler. I'll catch you guys down the road. Much love.